Hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> hello, hello. I hope you're doing good. It's so good to see all of you. <laughs> I'm going to check who got first because I saw you lot were hanging out here before I started streaming again. So, you know, got to see who managed to snatch those first five. Micah, Mestre, Echo, Charlie, and Ellie. Let's go. Congratulations on snatching one of the first five. <laughs> Tut is here. He's like, yes, yes. Human is streaming again. That means I will get pets. I do it. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're getting pets already from Micah, from Ellie, from Charlie, from Panda. Mm hmm. Yeah, you are conditioning, Toot. You very much are. <laughs> but also, let me see who watered the plants. Ellie, welcome in. How are you doing? Micah, welcome in. How are you doing? Echo, hello, welcome in. Charlie, welcome in. Ellie, welcome. Second Ellie, welcome in. LA, sorry. I gotta say it a different way, then you'll know the difference. Pick up notes, welcome in. Sarah, welcome in. Amesty, welcome in. Panda, welcome in. And Dave, welcome in. Hello. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Thank you for the hydrate. I actually need it because I literally only had a smoothie in the morning, like a little glass. And I just realized that that's the only thing I had today. Well, technically, I also had coffee with coconut milk, but that doesn't really count because it's coffee. So I need to drink. <laughs> all the pets, all the pets from Echo. From little brother and from El Gato Smokey. You're getting so many pets. You need to eat. Okay, I've eaten. I, okay, sorry, that, that wasn't clear. Hydration-wise, that's the only thing I've had to drink. I have had breakfast. I had two slices of white bread with chicken breast filet thingy. And then I also had for lunch... Two slices of white bread with peanut butter. And a little cookie. <laughs> so, I mean, okay. The, I sniff Nederlander. Yeah, I, I, like, I like my slices of bread. I'm very much Dutch in that way. <laughs> but, okay. The thing is, I never forget to eat. Because I get terribly hangry. So, not eating is, is almost, almost never happens to me. Not drinking, very easy. Just forget. Peanut butter. Okay, important question. I know that we're starting off the same, the same, the stream a bit weird today by just like talking about the important things, but still, peanut butter with crunchy bits or peanut butter without crunchy bits? Like, what's your, not even what's your preference? What's the best? I need to know. Because there clearly is a correct answer. And I need to know if you all know it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Echo, I like your way of thinking. Neither I will die. Okay, I'm, I'm smelling peanut allergy, Micah. <laughs> I don't like peanut butter. Okay, okay. I mean, in that case, I would say that there is... There, neither of them is good. But it's definitely with crunchy bits, obviously. Hi, Liz. Welcome in. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. How are you doing today? Also, do you guys like this music? Because usually we listen to lo-fi, but this is kind of like upbeat lo-fi. Like house lo-fi. I've been listening to it since yesterday, and it's really nice for my brain. <laughs> um... You're good. I am so glad to hear that. I'm also good. I had a lot of my a lot of things on my to-do list today and I did well a couple of them, but not all of them. Um I I've I've been not very productive, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> Gives me elevator vibes? Really? It gave me like beach shack vibes. Like one of those places on the beach where all the furniture is white and you can get the fancy cocktails. 
Does that make sense? <laughs> also, Caesar's here too. She just went down li to lie down to chill. She was like, I'm dedicated to chill. <laughs> hi, girl from Norway. Welcome in. Hello. And hi, Clumsy Hippie. Welcome in. It is so good to see both of you. I hope both of you are doing fine. She gave me a very little kiss. It was like, very little kiss. You know what I did do today, though? I brought my dress that I bought for my sister's wedding, I brought it to the tailor because it fits perfectly, but it's too long. So it needs to get tailored. Um, so I brought it to the tailor and I can pick it up next week. I'm very excited because yes, can you believe it, Panda? And not just a little bit too long. Like it was a good, I think, eight or nine centimeters too long. And I bought it on ASOS, which is... It literally said, like, made in China. I was like, if it's already too long for me, that's going to be too long for, like, 99.9% .9 of the population in the world. Unless, like, that 1% of really tall people buys it. <laughs> um, also, Baddest Cougar, hi, hello. If you were in my way, I would say good morning. Well, I'm guessing that it's morning for you then. Good morning. <laughs> For me, it is already 3 p.m., so it's definitely not morning anymore. But hello, how are you doing? It's good to see you. And thank you, Sarah, for the lurk. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and thank you, Clumsy Hippie, for the lurk as well. I appreciate it. Pretty hard to choose, but I think I'd go without Crunchy. Haven't had good peanut butter yet, though. <gasps> oh, my God, Ellie. You need to try good peanut butter. <laughs> um... What, what do you mean it's not morning anymore? It's Of course it's still morning. It's just morning all day until you have dinner and then all of a sudden it's evening. <laughs> oh, Calve, hands down. That's what I was about to say. Calve is like the best peanut butter ever. I've tried many different kinds of peanut butter and it's just, it is honestly the best peanut butter ever. Um, Very much open for recommendations. I'm not sure if you can get it. Um, I think you can get it in Germany. I think they sell Colvay there. Hi, Raven. Welcome in. It is so good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Um, I'll be lurking. I need background noise to work. Well, I'm happy to provide your background noise for work. And I hope that work goes well today, that it goes super smooth, and that you're going to ace every task. <laughs> Colvay for the official spelling. That's very true. I always forget that there's like the accent on the E. Also, I just realized I didn't turn on my lights at my desk. And now, today it's a very, like, gloomy, gray day outside. And then all of a sudden, my desk feels really dark. Um, great to see you as well. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm glad that you made it, like, so many of you made it to the new dis Discord yesterday. So for those of you who don't know yet, or who are in my old Discord, by the way, there is an invite to the new Discord in the old Discord. Um, I was, like, yesterday putting it live, putting the announcement. I was like, what if no one moved? What if no one finds their way to the new Discord? And then so many of you did, and it was so nice. And then there were so many chats going on in the new Discord, and it really made me happy. <laughs> um, you live close enough to the border to get it in the Netherlands. Oh, then, like, if you can't get it in Germany, in the Netherlands, you should definitely be able to get it. I think it's, like, our main brand of peanut butter. It's I think it's actually hard to find a different... Well, you can buy different brands of peanut butter, but then it's, like, the local cheap supermarket brand which is usually it's not terrible it works but not like an actual better brand of peanut butter like an a brand um it's hard to find i think i've tried i remember because you have this peanut butter which is which is like from jack klein which i think is an american brand which is funny because it's a dutch name um and they have like do you know those sugared peanuts so they have crunchy sugared peanut butter and it's not like they add a bunch of sugar to the peanut butter. It is actually made with fried, like the actual sugared peanuts. So the sugar itself was melted before they made it into peanut butter. And it is so good. Yes, I have tried it from the, uh, actually a friend of mine used to work in the peanut butter store. So when she worked there, I tried so many flavors and they were good. But I think they're only in... Rotterdam and Amsterdam at this point, maybe somewhere in the south of the Netherlands, you also now have a peanut butter store. But 
I don't think it's like a, a store that you have uh, everywhere. Your peanut butter, peanut butter, wow. Your brand of peanut butter. Wow, that was difficult to say. It's called Bega or Bega. I think, I think Bega. I've never heard of that brand. Um, they have multiple flavors. Oh my God, Panda. They don't just have multiple flavors. They have, I think they have like, Five, no, not even 2% of the store is normal peanut butter. The rest is like peanut butter with caramel, peanut butter with chocolate, peanut butter with white chocolate, peanut butter with speculoos, peanut butter with caramel sea salt. It's... You should go there. It is so good. Uh, I'm so jealous of people who can eat peanut butter. I love the taste. I'm so sorry for anyone who can't eat peanut butter. <laughs> I feel truly sorry because peanut butter is so good. Goes on knees. Please forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. I just, I, it, it just surprised me that you knew about the peanut butter store and asked me if I had the peanut butter, but then you didn't know they had so many flavors. I expected you that you, like, what well, expected that you would know because you brought it up. That's why I was surprised, but it's okay. We should go to the peanut butter store sometime. I'm not sure if they're, I think they're now located in the Goopgoot. They were originally located in a market hall that was like a pop-up store, but then it was so successful. And have some tea, exactly. But they, I think they're now in the Goopgoot. I really want the sweater, but like, I'm kind of sad that the sweater is, it's a Dutch joke. So no one would get it on stream apart from people who speak Dutch. But basically our word for, Peanut butter is peanut cheese, so pindakas. And then they have a sweater that says pindabas, which is like peanut boss. And it's just, it's a really cool sweater. And now I want to have it. But yeah, it's like very much a Dutch joke. So, I mean, I can wear it to work and stuff, and I think people would still appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a peanut butter store. It's, it's literally called pindakas, Winkel. And it is a store fully dedicated to making a lot of flavors of peanut butter. The only downside to it is that most of their peanut butters don't have crunchy bits in them. So they're like creamy peanut butter with an ad additional flavor. So there's one with caramel sea salt. And it's really delicious, but I, I miss my crunchy bits. You know, I want like the peanut pieces in there too. <laughs> You guys have to take me there. I want to see that. Let's go. Yes. If you do find yourself like in the in the close proximity of Amsterdam or Rotterdam, we can totally take you there because that, I think that's the only two places they have a store. Let me check. Um, where's my mouse? I just literally lost my mouse. Um, I'm going to see. I can't. Wow. Maybe you can actually order at the Pinda Gaswinkel. I'm not sure. Winkles. Oh, what? They have so many shops. What the heck? They have one in Amersfoort, Amsterdam. They actually have two in Amsterdam. Eindhoven, Haarlem, Leeuwarden, Leiden, Maastricht, Rotterdam. They have two in Rotterdam. Utrecht. Two in Utrecht. And Zwolle. Since when does the Pinnakaaswinkel have so many shops? I think the first one was in Amsterdam and then the second one opened in Rotterdam and the, like the Markthal one was a pop-up store. But apparently now they have a permanent store in the Markthal. Hi, Sam. Welcome in. It is good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Um, our range of peanut butter is smooth, crunchy, and super crunchy. Ooh, I think I would like the super crunchy a lot. I already like crunchy. I don't, I don't know what it is with smooth peanut butter. But I think it is because when I was younger, my mom would put like a really thick layer of butter under my peanut butter. And then it would be like the, the smooth peanut butter. And then it would just be so creamy. But at the same time, like peanut butter is kind of dry, right? So if you do the smooth peanut butter with the butter, I don't know, it, the textures just didn't work. <laughs> Also, hi, Ali is cozy. Welcome to chat. It is so nice to meet you. Welcome in. 
And also, hello, Noah. Thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I'm sleepy, but good. I'm also still a little bit sleepy. I do have to say I'm a bit, I've been sleepy all day. Um, but I also just finished my coffee at like two in the afternoon. So it might be because of that. But um, I hope that you can like chill and hang out here and be cozy. Also, can you give me an update, Sam? I'm not sure if you're still there, but how is Beth doing with the gameplay? I was lurking, but then I needed to get ready for stream and like have lunch and stuff. And I didn't watch a lot. I saw her like playing as a scientist for a bit. But how is she doing? <laughs> also, hello, Kobe. Welcome in. It is good to see you. I hope you're doing fantastic. Um, uh, so I need to go to Amsterdam or Rotterdam. Noted. Well, I just found out they have like a bunch more stores. I think Amersfoort is the closest to the German border. But obviously, please come to Rotterdam or Amsterdam. <laughs> I would love to hang out. Um, super crunchy is like four times as crunchy as normal crunchy. That sounds like exactly my amount of crunchy. <laughs> um, Rosanna Hut. What do I, it's like a little hut. <laughs> uh, I feel so dry, so I might take a nap after eating a little. Honestly, some days you just need to take care of yourself and give your body rest. Um, and you don't feel like making dinner or any form of carrot muffins. Do you have anything like easy to eat? And then maybe you can like eat something and then rest a bit. And then after you can just see whatever you're up for. It is still quite early. So I think if you rest, maybe later at night, you might be able to make some food, but like, don't push yourself. I've also been super sleepy and I'm only just having my coffee. Is it morning or afternoon for you, Ali? Also, is it okay if I call you Ali or do you prefer any other nickname? Let me know. <laughs> Please don't spill. Did I spill? No, I didn't spill. She restarted and regained her first promotion so far. She also accepted a request for a coworker to come live with her for a while <laughs> in the house with no bed. Okay, this sounds like fantastic gameplay chaos. I hope she's enjoying it. <laughs> um, nap time is best time. I do agree. I don't take enough naps. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've taken a nap in like the last six months. For the simple reason that I just don't have time to take naps. Because I can only take a nap of like one and a half hour. If I take a nap that is shorter than one and a half hour, I wake up like a troll that doesn't know what year it is. So that's not a good idea. But the problem is one and a half hour is quite a lot of time to just take a nap. But I really want to. I miss my naps. Not Amsterdam. I hate Amsterdam. I don't hate it, but I don't love it as much as Rotterdam. I mean, obviously. <laughs> um, of course, of course, Kobe. Um, I hope that hanging out here for a bit and like lurking um, helps a bit. I'm sorry to hear that you have uh, a bit of a bad day. I'm sending you all the good vibes. It's just after 2 p.m. here in the UK. Ali is perfect. Thanks for letting me know. And that means that you're like an hour behind. Uh, yeah, well, behind. It's not really the word. I'm like an hour ahead, I would say. Um, for me, it is 3.23 currently. So I'm in the Netherlands, just across the pond. <laughs> hi, Henny. Welcome in. It is so good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Hello, hello. And hi, Manders. Welcome in. How are you? I hope you're doing good today. I have some coconut yogurt. Uh, so that's going in my tummy. Ooh. I still need to buy myself some coconut yogurt. I've been making iced lattes with coconut milk and I really like that. So I'm, I was thinking maybe if I get some coconut yogurt with some fresh fruit, that would be good breakfast and stuff. Thank you for the lurk, Panda. Thank you, thank you. Just grabbing a snack, of course, of course. Um, I just saw I can get to Rotterdam for a very doable price since I technically only need to pay for the public transfer, transport from Venlo to Rotterdam. <gasps> Ooh, I see opportunities, Ellie. Just saying. <laughs> also, Leeks, thank you so much for the watering the plants. How are you doing? It is good to see you. I hope you're doing really, really well today. Um, I, I'm so happy I made tea. Like, as I pressed go live on my stream deck, like, and my stream started, I realized I didn't make any drinks or, like, I didn't make any tea. I was like, do I still have the time to make tea in the first five minutes? And I'm so glad I took the time to make tea because it's so nice to just warm my hands. I didn't realize that I was a little bit cold. <laughs> Hi, honeybee. Welcome in. It is good to see you. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing so well. Mm. Doing great. Had a really productive morning. Did you have one of those super amazing routine girly girls mornings again? Because 
you're gonna make me jealous if you say yes, but also please say yes. <laughs> you did actually. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm that's like inspirational. I wish I could do it. <laughs> but I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I like I said, I've I've been having like a day where I had so many things to do, but for some reason I didn't do many of them, so we're just gonna make it work. It's fine. <laughs> It's just usually I feel like Wednesdays always when I get on stream at three, I'm like, so I've done this and this and this and I feel super productive. But today is like, well, I went to the tailor and to the supermarket and that was it. Mm. Also, do you guys want to see my dress? Like not where I'm wearing it, because obviously, one, I want to keep that a bit of a surprise, but also two, it's too long, so I can't really show you. But do you guys want to see my dress? I, I can show you which one I got. Um, I just need to find the right color because I first had a dress and then it was the wrong size. So then I ordered a new size or like a new dress, but, uh, or like that same dress in a new size, but then I didn't like it. So I bought, ended up buying another one. Um, I'm just checking which color I have. I feel like, I think it is this color. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go here and then do, uh, let me see, I think it, I just always need to check that I, like, there's nothing going on that could dox me, but I think it is good. So I got this one. And it is really simple. I also feel like for her, like the, the top is a little bit loose for me. It's a little bit more form fitting. Um, but I feel like a Disney princess. It is a very like traditional, simple dress, but like the, the line of the top, it like, it gives you the right amount of cleavage, but it's still very classy. Is this wedding fit? Yes, it is. Hi, Yen. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so well today. It's good to see you. Um, and it, like, it fits just perfectly. Like, the whole top and everything, it's just, it's like it, it was made for me. The only thing is that it was, like, about 10 centimeters too long. So they need to cut off a piece of the, um, of, like, the bottom and then shorten it a bit. But that's good. Like, the tailor said it was easy to do. So, um, can't wait to see pictures. I can't wait to show, like, pictures where I'm actually wearing it. I still need to decide what I'm going to do with my hair. I'm debating whether I want to leave it down or like put it up. I'm not sure yet. And I also still need to find shoes. And this is like a big thing because the wedding is in less than a month. So having outfits, story of my life. I usually don't have to do it because usually I'm quite tall. Like, Compared to the outfit, I'm quite tall. It was actually surprising that the dress was too short, uh, too long. Also, hello, Carly, welcome in. And hi, Fiona, welcome in. I hope both of you are doing amazing. And thank you, Carly, for watering the plants. Amber! Hello! Thanks to Etubrodias for my sub gift. Let's go! Thank you, Top Top. I know, I know Top Top isn't here, but still, thank you to Top Top for gifting that sub to Amber. Please enjoy your bad dream and you're out reviewing. <laughs> How are you doing? It's good to see you. Hello, hello. I was just showing off the dress that I'm going to wear to my sister's wedding in like three weeks or something. Um, I'm very excited. But yeah, the thing is, I need to find shoes. You saw this one too. It is so pretty. It is so gorgeous. It like... I can't wait. I think the color in real life is a little bit different. Like here, it looks a bit more purplish. And I think the actual color is a bit more old pink. But I'm obsessed with the dress. Like I've, I'm so glad that I found a good dress because obviously it's my sister's wedding. So I don't want to wear just a pretty dress. I want to wear like a dress that says I'm the sister of the bride. Does that make any sense? <laughs> because I've been to weddings as well of friends. And then I just want to like wear a pretty dress and just look nice. But for this one, I'm also um, her maid of honor and her wedding planner. So I'm like, I need to look the part. <laughs> I need to make sure I'll look good for the wedding. 
So, but the only now, thing now is the shoes and the hair. I still have to think about this. Um, hi, Fanny. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Um, oh no, I am so sorry, Fiona. That sounds very painful. I, I send you all the good vibes. I hope you feel better soon. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Also, the baby is sick. That's like terrible timing. That is the worst. Ro does it all. Yeah, I feel like this is particularly bad because I've been someone's wedding planner before. But um, being like maid of honor and wedding planner is quite intense. I mean, this weekend, I'm so excited. I can't say much because obviously my sister might be watching. She lurks a lot in my streams. So in case you're here, Dina, I see you. I'm not going to spoil anything. You don't have to close your ears. But this week, it's her bachelorette or this weekend. I'm so excited. I've been planning her bachelorette for like seven months or something, like six months. And I'm so excited that it's finally happening. <laughs> um, uh, I'm teaching in 30 minutes, but I thought I'd jump in here for a short time. I hope that like you can have some chill time before teaching. What uh, what subject are you teaching? Snack acquired. What did you get, Ellie? What did you get? Um, but I'm very exciting. No, not, not, not me. I'm not very exciting. I am very excited. Sometimes I literally can't speak. I don't know what's going on. I hope your sister will have a wonderful wedding. Her wedding is going to be amazing. The only thing that I now really hope for is that the weather is going to be good. Um, English for kiddos. Let's go. I love that. I love that. You are very exciting too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Welcome in. It is good to see you. I hope you're doing well. That combination is good. The scream and the flirt. I like it. And also, Amber, thank you for watering the plants. No one needs to say sorry for never watering the plants. I mean, it's basically me in your stream constantly forgetting to redeem my honey pass. I think the amount of times I've been in your stream compared to, to the amount of honey passes I have, like one third of the time, is it works. <laughs> Hi, Em, and hi, Lisa. Welcome in. I hope both of you are doing absolutely amazing. My poor plants. How can you do that to the plants, Amber? Very rude. <laughs> Thank you, Yen, for also watering the plants. Also, I just booted up my game because um, there is 11 shell tours in the queue, and um, I don't think we're going to get through all of them today because obviously... Like on Monday, we did eight, and I think that's a lot. Also, why, why is this empty? I was like, oh my God, are my saves gone? But we are good. Oh, the panic of this. I need to back up my saves. I've done it last time two weeks ago, but I can't afford to lose two weeks of progress anymore. Like that's the content creator lifestyle. You can't lose your progress. <laughs> I know, Ellie, can you believe it? I'm just so stoked to see all of your builds. Like, every single one of you is just so good at building. I want to see more. Oh, yeah, we did nine on Monday. Good point. Good point. I mean, maybe we could do 11. It just all depends. I also know that I think um, Panda might want her tour shelled. No, not her tour shelled. Her shell toured. But they also said that they might meet until Friday. So. Let's see how many we get done today. <laughs> also, thank you for the stretch. I just noticed it. Words are hard. We get that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm annoyed at myself for not giving it a go. You can still give it a go. I, I mean, I won't tour it, but you can still try it if you want and, and probably share your struggle. <laughs> you need to back up yours too. This is a reminder to everyone. Back up your saves. It is super easy. It takes you like 30 minutes, not 30 minutes, 30 seconds to do, but it's going to save you so much if you ever have a corrupted game or anything. Um, so do it. I'm going to do it as well. After, after stream today, I'm going to do it. Also, I am very excited for shell tours, but I also was a little bit, not disappointed is not the right word, but
but I downloaded so many poses yesterday. I like last night I was like clicking around and I downloaded, I think over hundred poses really bad. And I was like, oh, if we got to play the not so berry, I could have checked out the poses. So I'm really hoping that on Friday we'll have some time to check out like or to play some not so berry, even if it's just for an hour, because you guys got me back into poses and it's it's problematic. Love your loading screen. Thank you. Thank you. I think if you do wait that one, then you should uh, that link directly links you to um, the loading screen that I use. And also the creator has made a couple of other ones that are also really cute. So um, just thought I'd share it with you in case you're interested. Also, hi, is it Alana? Do I say that correctly? Welcome in. Yes, very much so. I recognize your problem and it's very frustrating. I think it is a, a bug with the Dream Home Decorator, like, um, what is it called? Hello? Modular forni furniture. That's the thing that I wanted to say. <laughs> Not Blob coming in with the monkey sounds. Hi, Blob. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> and thank you for that follow. I do appreciate it. But yeah, it's very frustrating that they get deleted. I haven't been able to find a fix for it. Um, also, I'm in my Watchers and a TXC or YouTube era right now, but I feel weird commenting on old videos. So I just watch them without commenting. Feel free to comment. I would love to hear what you're thinking. Thank you so much for watching the videos. That is so kind. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> it is so annoying. I had to redo my closet four times. Yes, it is honestly one of the most frustrating things. I've had it as well where I was doing a build over like the span of I think three or four streams and every single time I had to redo a piece of the wardrobe and it was just so stupid. Um, The first build for today is actually Melissa's. I know Melissa isn't here but she said that she was gonna watch back the VOD so I'm just gonna look it up. Um, Is it this one? No, because this is the tiny shell from like a long time ago. Is it this one? No. I'm getting better. My throat infection is almost gone. Let's go. Um, Alana? I'm going to write that down as a nickname. I hope I said that correctly if I say it like that. Um, Alana? I hope I say that correctly. I'm going to set it up as a like a nickname the way you wrote it down so I won't forget. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I do appreciate it. Um <laughs> Mestre, hi, welcome in. That's sweet of you to say. Thank you. Um but maybe it's my time to start commenting only if you feel comfortable. Like there's no pressure, but I would love to hear what you're thinking. Also, hi, Panji. Welcome in. That's right. Thank you so much for letting me know. Um, and how are you doing, Panji? It is so good to see you. And hi, Rosalia. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. It's so, so good to see you as well. Mm. But I think I'm going to ask Melissa, um, because this is the gallery idea that she gave us, and this is also her nickname. Um, and she has done one of my shell challenges before. So it might be that she... Oh, wait. I remember someone else also saying that there was uh, some parts that were like tagged with custom content. Like someone on Twitter reached out to me. Hi, Helena. Welcome in. It is so nice to meet you. Welcome to chat. I think I'm just going to reach out to her and then ask. Um... And then I might tour it on Friday, but then I'm going to leave this one in the queue. I wish I could like, because now it's going to be stuck all the way at the top. But that does mean leaks. Yours is up next. Are you ready? Um, I love finding new streamers to watch. Well, you're more than welcome to hang out with us. <laughs> Your ID is the first one. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Then I'm going to... That's also the one that I copied first. Um, let me see. Which one is it? Oh. Hello? That's the one from May. This one. <gasps> I'm so excited. 
Uh, can I confirm where this was built? Is this Magnolia Promenade? In Newcrest, okay. Okay. This was a hard one. This this, in, this screenshot didn't give me much to go on, but like it was either Newcrest or Magnolia Promenade. Do you have my nickname saved? What's your nickname, Mesto? Okay, but then I'm gonna go to Newcrest. No, that's Oasis Springs, Rosanna. <laughs> Newcrest. Your screenshots are so bad. No, you can't help that. That's the Sims game. That's the Sims game. Uh, do you have a... Yes, I do, Helena. I do. Um, we're actually touring the um, entries of the Shell Challenge this week. Um, so, unfortunately, if you join... Wait, that should have worked. Why did that not work? Let me check that for you, because I do have a shell challenge, and that command should have worked, and I don't know why it didn't. Um, but it is, uh, like, you can st obviously still do it. Uh, it's just that I'm touring this week, so I don't think you can still join in on the tours, but... Um, mm -mm -mm. Let me just see why the command didn't work. That's so silly. Oh. Okay. I enabled it again. I think I, I just turned it off. That was a bit silly, but now it should work. Um, like I said, the deadline was May 7th, so, but you can still try it. It's still up on my gallery and I have a bunch more shell, shell challenges up on my gallery. I do them about every three months. Um, my gallery ID is Rosanna TXT, just the same as here uh, on Twitch. And you can basically just take them and make them if you like them. Um, and then in about three months, I'm probably going to do a new one. So if you ever want to get yours toured, um, keep an eye out either here on Twitch or you can join my Discord or you can follow me on Twitter because that's usually where I announce all of them. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you're so nervous. I can't wait to see it. Thank you, Leaks, for doing the Discord. We have a brand new Discord. Just a heads up for everyone. I'm going to mention it a couple of times on stream today. So um, as of yesterday, we have a brand new Discord. The link that you just saw in chat should be updated. Um, but if you do find yourself in the old Discord, there should be an invite link to the new Discord. Um, the old one will actually be closed down probably by the end of this week. So um, please make sure that you're in the new Discord. <laughs> also, hi, Magnus. Hello. I'm a, I have to... Um, the counting game, it's, it's going wild. Seriously, I feel like in this Discord, it's going wilder than wild. In the previous Discord, it was like mellow. Here, everyone is committed. <laughs> hi, Simi Sam. Welcome in. It is good to see you. Um, do you allow people to stream? Well, yeah, of course. Feel free to stream it. Feel free to, to make a video out of it. Feel free to stream it. Whatever you want to do. If you like to do it on stream, I really love to even like pop over if I have the time when you're streaming to kind of see the, the process of it because I do really love that. Um, it's updated. Thank you for checking, Ellie. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to grab the sour candy because, um, yeah. <laughs> Not me almost banging into my desk, oopsie. Okay. I'm gonna do another one of these because I haven't done them. Counting channel is chaos. It is, I, I don't know why. I feel like now with everyone onboarding in the new Discord, people know that it's there. Even though it's always been there, I feel like now it is, it's more active. Sorry for the packaging. It, it, it has calmed down, that's very true. That's very true, okay. Okay, I only need one. I don't want to do two. That will probably go wrong. Okay. For those of you that are new here, I cannot handle my sour candy, so I'm going to pull faces. You're warned. Which, it's a 30 by 30 lot. I think we only have one. This one, there we go. Yummy. Hmm, I love sour candy. Okay, let's place Leek's build. Oh, I'm so excited. I think this is again, so different from what we've seen already. Oh, I can confirm. This is so different from what we've seen already. What the heck?
This song is nice, right? I'm liking the new playlist. Um, excuse me, Leaks. What? Welcome to Camp Row. I'm not even joking if I tell you I'm going to put this in my safe file. I'm going to put this in my Granite Falls world so that we can go here and like actually take a vacation here. Because I want to play here. This is so perfect. Like, imagine doing a family holiday with the next generation of the Not So Berry. Hi, Tally. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. This is, I haven't even checked out the insides of the houses, but this is seriously, how do you come up with this? And I tried to turn and zoom to see more. I love that. Um, I love it. I'll do my best to show you all of the good places. This is. I'm like. I can't I can't even speak anymore. This is literally so good. Also, look, there's even food on the barbecue. And you even put like the, the, not the debug, but like the animated things here. So if you actually play here, there's going to be fireflies and stuff. I built and destroyed my build like five times. It was worth it because look what you made. I love that you went actually out of your way to go into debug to find all of these items to make it super lived in. And like actually feel like a place. I want to go here, but not in The Sims. I want to go here in real life. Like, this is, this is just one of those places where I'm, I'm jealous of the fact that my Sims will get to go here and I won't. Oh, Ellie, thank you. I appreciate that. That's actually like the questions and stuff. That is um, one of the things why I wanted to move to a new Discord. We set it up especially for that feature so that you can like kind of onboard and it is a little bit easier than just getting dumped in a Discord and being a bit lost. Um, so I'm so glad that you like it. Thanks for letting me know. That's so sweet of you to say. I'm, like, also, the whole landscaping on this lot. Like, the placement of the homes not being entirely in the corner, but kind of having all the landscaping go around it, but then still it all being fenced in. I'm obsessed with the layout of the lot. And again, I haven't even checked out the homes. I'm just obsessing over the layout of the lot. <laughs> Hi, Monkey Spams. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so well. It's good to see you. I don't love camping IRL, but would still come here. I feel like this is the perfect combination of like a home and camping. Like there is the little, like everyone has their own little bungalow, but it still has the camping feeling. I definitely built this because I want to go here. I get that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Messed up, then you can pick up, pick the option of other pronouns. It's very easy. Or ask my pronouns even. And then people will ask you every single time. And then it will truly feel like you're invisible. <laughs> mm. Is your time zone? I think so. I think so. You're in, in Norway, right? Because then I think it is CEST. It is, it is the same. Uh, I just looked at the screen and this is such a good idea, right, Clumsy Hippie? I was saying the same. I love, I love everything about this. I love the little tents as well. It is so cute. Okay, do you guys want to... Yes, I'm in Norway. Okay, then yes, you are in CEST. <laughs> uh, I just wrote the gallery name down for this. Let's go. Also, hi, Sarah. Welcome in. Identifying as an imperceivable mist is such a vibe. Just being like, I'm here, I'm present, but you can't see me. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, let's check out the inside of this first one. Because I have a feeling that this one, because this has all the diagonal pieces. <gasps> this is such a cute little bungalow, hello? 
So you enter here, you enter immediately in this nice, like, living room area. And then off to your right, there is the bathroom, which I'm going to check out in a second. There's, like, the books and a little study or, like, desk area <gasps> with all the postcards. Oh, that is adorable. Um. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, Ellie. Although... Can I do that? Because the thing is, I don't have the names anymore. As soon as I tick them off in the list above here, um, the channel point redemption is gone, so I don't have the names anymore. Um, imagine just writing a novel here. That's just perfection. That is just perfection. So I'm like trying to figure out how I can do the, the nine from Monday. Yeah, it, this is indeed a leaky M. They are indeed listed right above my head. But I, it's like the second one because uh, Melissa's one I couldn't find quickly enough. I might actually mark Melissa's as complete and then just send her a quick message. I'm going to put that in reminders. Because otherwise the list above will always be like one off. So I'm just going to mark hers as complete and then she can redeem it again um, because I know that she can't be here today anyways. Hi, Cozy Green Man. It is so good to see you. How are you doing? Okay, let's check out the bathroom. I love what you did here, like kind of hiding this corner. That just makes everything make so much more sense. This is so nice. I want to just... Another bathroom with like a sink with a window. This is just goals. I didn't want to deal with that corner. It always made me cry. But I love, like, it is so realistic that next to a bathroom, you have a little bit of place where all the piping goes and stuff. Hi, Kiki. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. It is good to see you. You are doing well. I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing well as well. Thank you for asking. This is such a cute bathroom. Like, it is so, so perfect for a little bungalow bathroom as well. And then the green kitchen. I've never done a dark green kitchen, and I'm kind of obsessed. I want to do that too now. And then this is so smart again, just using the corner kind of as storage space, and then you have a little breakfast nook. And then there's just a double bed, small bedroom, but that's fine. It's a holiday home. You don't really need much in your bedroom. So I like it, and I love that there's a little porch as well with two chairs, three chairs even. There's like a nice little hanging chair over here. Also, just a quick check. We got to see this at night. Oh, that is so cute. That is so well lit. Hello? This is so cozy. Right, Clumsy AP? I totally agree. I, I never use the swatch. I know it's there, but I always forget about it. Of course, Fanny. Of course. Good luck with teaching. Are the tree lights cottage living? Um, I think... I think this one is from Movie Hangout. Oh no, this is actually, wait, this is a base game tree? Bramblewood's delightful tree. I mean, it says it's base game, but Bramblewood is technically in... Is it, it is base game, okay, nice. Okay, I'm gonna check out the second bungalow because I'm so excited. I love that all the bungalows with like the little bump outs look really cute too. Hi, Synth. Hello. How are you doing? I hope you're doing really well. I need to buy more packs so I can download this build. Yeah, I do feel like this is quite a pack heavy build. <laughs> thank you for watering the plants, Synth. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> I love that this bungalow has like a completely different vibe. This one is so light. And then this one is so cozy with all the darker browns. Um, I never noticed that tree, but I don't really landscape because I suck. It takes, it takes practice to be good at landscaping, honestly. I feel like I've played so much Sims and I've done a lot of building and I'm just now feeling, starting to feel like confident in my landscaping. Before I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I love this. So you enter here and then there again is like a nice little hallway with a bunch of clutter and like the puzzles and stuff. And then just a little living room. Again, small kitchen, dining area. I love this. And then over here, we actually have a kid's room. And 
Another double bedroom. Okay, so this bungalow is even for three Sims. Holy cow. So many Sims can travel here. This is mind blowing. Uh, literally on this show, I got bored with landscaping and submitted it. And um, you can tell, no way. <laughs> I mean, honestly, landscaping does take so much time and so much patience. So it makes sense that you kind of like run out of patience for it. On my way to work and super happy to hang uh, till the internet allows. Let's go. I hope work goes well today. <gasps> Ooh, smart bathroom layout with like using the shower so you can actually make it a small bathroom like this. I like it. Just notice the ADHD tag. Same. Let's go. I love meeting other ADHDers or any other like neurodivergent peeps. This is our space. We are permanently distracted. <laughs> this is literally incredible, Leaks. I'm, my mind is just like beyond blown. Like blown does not cover it. How do I add birthday to the Discord? There are different options. Um, the easiest option is just introducing yourself in the introductions channel. If you've already done that, um, actually your birthday should be set up already um, because I do that. So if there is a little like party planty emote underneath your name, I've set up your birthday already because I can do it in the back. Um, but you can also go into the birthdays channel and do um, slash remember birthday and then actually set up your birthday. You just did that. Well, then I should be able to set it up. Like basically I set them up um, in, in batches. So every time like I go into the introduction channel and there's like a couple of people who've introduced themselves, I set it up. But you can do it yourself as well by going into the birthday channel and doing like slash remember birthday. It is so balanced and beautiful and I'm absolutely in love with it. I 100% agree with that statement. Also, Ariel, hi, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Odd aged years unite, let's go, yes. Hi, Melissa. No, I wanted to ask you. I thought you wouldn't be able to make it to stream today. Um, your shell isn't up. I checked your gallery and it's not there. So I was like, I ticked it off so the queue would actually be up to date. But I was like, if you do come in, I'm just going to do your shell in, in between. Um, and if not, I can, if like, if you wouldn't come in today, I was going to message you about it. Um, but hi, Butterfly. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so well. It is good to see you. I love the amount of detail in this with like the grocery bags and the cakes and everything. You took so much time to decorate, Leeks. What the heck? Thank you, Girl from Norway, for redeeming it. Thank you, thank you. You are currently number 11, although I think technically number 12, because if Melissa is here, you can actually check where your shell is, and then I will just do it in between. Um. This is so amazing. There is an unreasonable amount of clutter and plants everywhere. And I'm going to say it yet again. The layout of the lot, like, it's just, it, it's mind-blowing. Okay, and then the last one. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so this is just, this is the smallest one. It is, it doesn't really come with a separate bedroom, but that's completely fine. Like, if you're here with a big family, technically... This could be the main home for the parents. Then maybe like a teenager or maybe two sisters and another kid can sleep here. And then this can be another teen or maybe two older kids. Um, going to see what happens when power comes on this evening and see if I tagged something wrong. Can I go on Friday? Yeah, of course. It's just, um, I don't think you tagged it wrong for the simple reason. I looked up your gallery ID and there's just three builds there. And I did see the one like the Rosanna TXT tiny shell that you did a long time ago. But I didn't see this one. So, and I even ticked on the custom content thingy to see if it accidentally flagged it as custom content. But, um, so I think it's not up on your gallery at all. But please, please don't worry about it too much. You can go Friday. There's no worries about it. I can't believe how detailed this build is, right? And how every house has just completely their own vibe. I had an issue with my gallery ID, so it may be that. Ah, okay. Okay, just let me know when once you've checked it, that be either today or Friday. It's completely fine. Just know that I haven't toured your shell, and if you do redeem it, I will make sure to tour it. Um, I love this. I love how this is so different from the other two homes again. There is even, like, an open soda can on the counter and a watermelon. Stop. 
Thank you for watering the plants. Thank you, thank you, Alyssa. I appreciate it. And some lo dirty laundry in the corner and everything. This is so good. And like there's even plates of food here. Look. This makes me want to make a little homestead commune lot. Ooh, that is amazing. I wish that at one point The Sims is going to release a feature in the game where you can actually live with different families on the same lot and you can control which household you want to play with, but the other family actually still lives on that lot. Because that way, a 64 by 64 lot could be a great kind of communal space where you maybe build two or three houses or maybe even a whole street. And then the households just live on the same lot, but you don't play with them. I would love it if we just all went to this camp and hung out with each other. That would be amazing, Leaks, honestly. I would love that. Like, just do a, a camp con. Instead of a Twitch con, we just do a camp con. I'm utterly obsessed with what you did with the build. Seriously. I love all the details, like the board here as well. It's just... It feels so realistic. And I just feel like the longer I look, the more details I see. Like all of the soda cans and all of the decorations you did everywhere is just, it's above and beyond. Look, there's even like little diaries and toys in the tents for the kids. Hi, Cece. Welcome in. It is good to see you. Thank you for watering the plants as well. You are one frickety frack talented builder leaks. I have no words for how good this is. And I want to play here. So um, keep your eye out. I might put it in like both my not so berry and my pack legacy safe file. Because <laughs> I want to go here so bad. It looks so good. Oh, I'm obsessed. Uh, my cat has come to snuggle. She could sense the chill vibes. I love that. I currently have a cat chilling behind me on the chair. Look, I'm, I quickly show you. Look, there she is. And my other cat tends to jump up on the desk during stream as well. I had a fun time doing this. Thank you for the shell. Thank you for making such an amazing build with it and taking the time to make it so cluttered and so detailed. I'm obsessed. I think it looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, if you all want to give a big round of applause, thank you uh, for starting it, Micah. If you all want to do a big round of applause for leaks, um, for this absolutely amazing entry to the shell challenge tour this is like i'm i'm not gonna stop obsessing over this <laughs> I'm, I'm just not gonna stop obsessing i'm also do uh gonna do some little clapsies <laughs> it is honestly amazing thank you so much for for joining in for taking the time um i love what you did with it i'm gonna mark your shell as complete and then next we have this one i'm gonna copy and paste it brilliant build heart agree next up is i believe liz i keep forgetting like nicknames compared to usernames these days it's so bad so so bad but let me see no there we go So excited. Um, <gasps> oh, but it looks so good. Can I show it off on stream? Aww. He, he bought a new shirt and it looks so good. I'm simping over my own boyfriend. <laughs> Look. Yeah. He needs a bigger size though because it's a little bit too small, but it looks so good. Told you you should get it. Everyone agrees that it's a good shirt, that they like it. I I think it looks good. He saw it and he was like, "Should I buy this shirt?" I was like, "Yes." <laughs> Just yes. <laughs> Can he do it again, but without a shirt? No, Mesta, that's exclusive content for me. <laughs> okay, I think it's this one. Let me check. Uh, yeah, this is the one. 
And I know which lot this is. This is in Brindleton Bay all the way in the back. I think this is the same lot that I built my shell on. Um, so I'm just going to go there. Um, now I'm jealous. Sorry. <laughs> I get it, though. I would be jealous of, my, of, of myself, too, you know. <laughs> Hi, Hollow. Welcome in. How are you doing today? It is good to see you. Uh, let's go to Brindleton Bay. I'm so excited. I think, I think it is this one or this one. I'm guessing this one. Let me see. It is a 30 by 20. Okay, then I, I think it is this one. Let me just go here. Um, I'll have to leave early today and I would really appreciate it if you could do mine on Friday. No, uh, no worries if not. I'm trying not to shuffle around too much, um, but just going to check. You are towards the bottom, like you are in one of the last three. So I'm actually thinking that I'm already going to do yours on Friday because I don't think I'm going to make it all the way to, to like that part in the tours. I think if we do nine again today, then it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then yours would be the ninth of today, but I can swap it around uh, because then we have so little tour le tours left that it's okay. Um, it's just like if you were all the top on all the way on the top of the list, I might actually still um do it but i'm gonna try to do it on friday if that's okay um i need to try and get my husband to appear on stream he quietly mods in the background for me it's so sweet that he mods though my boyfriend actually never watches my stream um <laughs> he hears me talk but he's never watched my stream i do show him clips though um but um he doesn't really get watching a stream it's not really his his cup of tea um, which is fair, by the way, it's like not streaming, watching streams is not for everyone, but, um, yeah, he does show up on stream from time to time. Although he didn't for like the first, I think one and a half year or something. He was very anonymous, but he's been feeling confident. <laughs> he's been feeling confident. Uh, I'm good, but I've been hiking and my feet are so tired. I hope you had a good hike though. It gives you stuff to talk about. Yeah, it does. And I mean, it's also fair. Like, he already has to listen to all of my chattiness outside his stream. <laughs> um, and usually when I'm streaming, he's doing other things. Also, um, excuse me. I just, I just saw this. What the heck? Of course, of course, Fiona. Thank you for the lurk. It is a nice reason to have sore feet. That's true. Hello, this be this is gorgeous. This style also fits so well in this world, by the way. This looks like a very, very fancy house, and I'm here for it. Again, it is so well landscaped. Like, it's not overdone. There, It's not like there is landscaping on every single part of the lot, but there is just enough landscaping to make it look full and lush and like lived in but also very well kept you can see that the people live here are kind of rich blends very well with the world i feel like most of the builds in brindleton bay kind of are this style but i love it i love the layout of the backyard as well with like the diagonal piece and then kind of framing it this way it is so smart this already looks like a very playable house too by the way like, I would love to play in this house. And I love this, all of this. It's just so good. What the heck? Okay, we need to check it at night. Ooh, I like that. This looks like a very nice, like, imagine having a garden party here with all your friends over. And there's, like, like the cute lanterns everywhere. It's not too lit, but it's still, like, dim and cozy. The brick outside, I think this brick is base game. I used to use this a lot. Yeah, it's a base game brick. I use the, I used to be obsessed with this brick. I think if you look at my older builds, there was this time where for six months straight, only this brick. I don't know why, but it just, it, it did something and it, I just couldn't get it out of my head. <laughs> Are you guys ready to check the inside? I've never seen it. I feel like... This is the thing that these days The Sims has so many items that some just for some reason you just don't notice them. 
Like your brain automatically gets drawn to certain items. And that's why I love shell tours and like seeing other people build as well on stream or on YouTube because they use items. I'm like, wait, that's in the game. I've never seen that before. It's seriously a great way of kind of getting back your creativity because I find myself going back to the same items over and over again. And this way you kind of get jolted out of the, how do you say it? Like your, your standard routine with building. Hi, Laura, welcome in. I hope you're doing so, so well, especially debug items. Yes, hard agree. I love it when I see people using debug and I'm like, wait, what? That's a thing in the game? <laughs> but I love this. I love that there's like a porch, even though it is completely flat, like there is no um, foundation or anything, but there's still a porch. And I love the way it is kind of sectioned off, but still has kind of a wide, wide walkway. So it really feels open and inviting. And then as you enter, you walk straight into the living room. Ooh, I like the color scheme in this. This, this floor kind of has the green in it. I wish we could filter debug items and kits. I'm not sure if you're playing on PC, Ali, and if you're open to using mods, because obviously that's not for everyone. And I know that mods shouldn't be the fix for everything in the game. Um, but there is this mod called Better Build By by Twisted Mexi, which actually allows you to do both of those things. Um, so if you can see over here, if I go for my packs, like um, Twisted Mexi actually filters all of the kits. So you can filter by kit and all of the debug items um, they actually go through everything every time a new pack comes out and they sort it in the right category. And then all you have to do is in your filter menu, make sure that organized debug is on. And then you can literally, if it's turned on, you can even wait, let me show you. You can with a filter up here, you can turn on debug and live edit. You don't even have to enter the cheats. You just click debug. And it adds all the debug items. And as you can see, I clicked on a fridge and it shows me all the food items because they've sorted it in the right category. It is wild. It is one of my favorite mods. It also, it is a mod that comes with like a bunch of other nice features for building. So in live mode, you can go into free cam. Um, if you have better build buy in your game, you can actually press tab and you can also do it. Like you, you get free camera control which you usually don't get in, in build mode in The Sims, but with this mod in, you get it. And one of the main reasons why I love it is you can actually turn off your custom content. So now if I click it, it shows all of my CC that I have in my game. But obviously when I'm building on stream, I sometimes don't wanna use CC, but I don't wanna take out my CC folder every single time because that's just a lot of going back and forth of copying and pasting folders. So now I can just turn it off and I don't see it at all. And they're actually working on a better cast mod where you're allowed to filter on kits in cast and turn off your CC in cast. So basically everything I just showed you, but then for cast instead of building. And that's like one of their in progress mods right now. I'm, I can talk about this for hours. I'm obsessed. <laughs> also, hi, Julia. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so, so well. I hope you're doing good. Also, Julia, I've been meaning to say, I think. I'm not sure if you find your way to the new Discord yet. Allie, what the heck? Thank you so much for that brand new sub. Welcome to the jungle. You're a strong growing planty now. I really appreciate that. Please enjoy your badger emotes and your ad reviewing for a whole month. Thank you so much. Thank you for the amazing tip. Anytime, anytime I can tell people about the amazing mod by Twisted Mexi, I will. <laughs> I will take that opportunity. <laughs> um. Also, hi Shane, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I see a hydrate coming in as well. Mm. I did, so I'm already, I'm also already a coconut. Let's go. I was like trying to keep up with the list and I wasn't sure if you were already in there, but I remembered that you were one of the people that still needed the coconut roll. So I wanted to make sure if you popped into chat today, <laughs> I would actually refer you, but great that you made your way in there. I found a robin eggshell in the yard while uh, walking at TZ. What is a robin? Wait, a robin eggshell like the robin bird? That's so cool. Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. I'm going to take another sip. Okay, okay. I see so many things going on. We need to look at this floor plan. Because I, I see smart things. I see like... 
hidden away things so that the outside of the shell makes sense while the inside of the shell also makes sense. I like it. It's the bedroom that actually leads into... I. This is so smart. I love it. Imagine laying there with a nice breeze. That's just perfection, honestly. Okay, so if you enter the house, like what I said, you arrive into the living room. And then it has this nice, beautiful, open, big kind of living space with a small dining table that leads off into the kitchen. Um, very like simple, functional kitchen. I like it. I think there is a cabinet missing, but I think that's just my Sims game being a bit glitchy, but I'm not sure. Maybe there was not supposed to be a cabinet there, but I like it. I like also, again, look like the cereal and the pan and the little drink. Again, a lot of debug items. I appreciate that. Um... American Robin or European Robin? Wait, there's a difference? I did not know. <gasps> Wait a second. So if you walk off the kitchen, there is like a cute office with a reading space and everything. Stop. Totally different birds. Okay. I'm, I'm not a bird person. I know very little about birds, but I did not know that. This is so cute. What the heck? This is such a nice space. Imagine just sitting here in the corner, like reading some books with all of the light and stuff. Oh, that's that's lovely. Uh, I meant to do that. There we go. I love that so much. And then off of the, the living space, like you can either go out here on the side, also going on to um, the, the garden or like the patio and stuff. But you can also go to this door and then you actually enter this amazing, absolutely stunning bedroom i am wondering though oh wait i was like where is the bathroom there must be one in the house but it's over here wow that's smartly tucked away i did not see that so you can also go from the living room into the bathroom there's like a bathtub and a sink and like some clutter and stuff oh and the toilet is over here smart i like the layout I was so confused to where the bathroom was. I was like, where is it? But just across. Okay. And then this bedroom is like absolute dreams. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. It is so nice to meet you. I'm a fan of the fan. Wait. Ooh, yeah. I like this. I, I don't use this one enough. I am very clearly not from a warm place. So I always forget to add fans to my homes. It's just one of those things that you don't really see in, in Dutch houses. So it's just not on my brain, you know? That's when I learned that when Americans talk about the robin, they have no idea that Europeans will Im imagine a different bird. Wait, um, I only know because I've been to the US and I saw an American robin. Huh. But like, what is the... Um, because uh, a European robin is a rooibosje, right? Roodbosje. Not rooibosje. That's what's weird. That was very Rotterdam for me to say. Um, right? That's the, that's the European Robin. Or am I also mistaken in that? I could very well be because my bird knowledge, like I said. Um, you saw the American one. Okay. Yes. Rotborsche. Okay. But then what is the American Robin? What kind of bird is it? Is like a bigger bird? Is it a similar bird, but actually different? Like, how does that work? Does the name of the shell imply that it inspired by a home in the Hamptons? I have a feeling that it is. And kind of like the style fits with a Hamptons home too, I think. I also think looking at like what um, Liz did with the, the floor plan like this. I'm guessing... They use almost all of the original shapes without changing anything. Like they actually puzzled it together. It's a throttle, the American Robin. It's a little bigger and more red brown. Huh. You have very good bird knowledge. I'm just lucky that there's people in chat here that, that know these things and that can like tell me if I'm wrong or not. <laughs> Hi, Drago. Welcome in. How are you doing? It is good to see you. I'm an expert at picking leaves and heating them in water. It's my specialty. See what you did there. 
Uh, Roodborst Leister. Ah, so it is... Like, similar with uh, being, like, having red in their feathers, but it's a different bird because it's a Leister. Okay. Learn something new every day. I love this, though. This be like, this home looks so peaceful. Looks so chill. Like, I think if you live here and this is your backyard, you have a very chill life. That's what I would say. But I love it. I love the layout. I really love... Um, this big bedroom. That's genius. Like, the bedroom has more space than the living room, but for some reason, it just makes sense. <laughs> A European robin looks like chibi American robins. <laughs> I so get what you mean. Now knowing what both birds are, I totally get that, um, like, comparison. <laughs> Hold on. I would love to hear Andy. I'm very curious now. I... Uh, never known anything other than the American Robin, but the um, egg sh uh, shell is so tiny. It's about the size of my thumb. Okay, that's very tiny. Um, no, you're still on the list, Jesse. You're still on the list. Let me check. Um, you are actually. We we are just throwing the top one now. So next one is Barachuta, Lore, Kiki, and then you're up. So you're fourth in line right now. So as soon as I take this one off, your name actually should appear in the queue, I think. But it is still there. No longer calling it a salad with chicken, it's a breast implants. Oh my god, and I'm never gonna think of anything else now. <laughs> That is so good. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 biddies as well. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I love that. That's a really good one. That's a seriously good work joke. Like, who came up with that? <laughs> also, hi, Ari. Welcome in. It's going amazing again. I'm being blown away by people's creativity and talent yet again. Because... People are genius. People are absolutely genius. But how are you doing? I hope you're doing really well. It's so good to see you. But can we get another massive applause in chat, please? Um, because they might not currently be here, but um, if they're going to watch back the VOD, let's make sure that they like see the chat full of clapping, claps, clapping, claps. That was... I can speak. <laughs> Because this is an absolutely beautiful build. I love it. I love the style. I think you picked a great world to place it. I'm obsessed with the outdoor space. I'm obsessed with the whole layout. I think you did an amazing job roofing this monster because it actually looks like the roof was just meant to be this way. And it looks so good. Thank you for joining in on the shell. I appreciate it so much. I hope you had fun making it. I really appreciate you try giving it a go and trying. You you did a fantastic and wonderful job. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining. I can't see the emoji. No, there is actually... Let me see. I think... There we go. So I think the message that was just po posted below, you also don't... You just see cat jam. You don't see an actual cat with a bobbing head, but you see text. Um... That is because it is a an email from a uh, extension from a Twitch extension called Better TTV. The link was just posted in chat. If you click on that link, you can actually download it as a browser extension unless you're on mobile. If you're on a mobile phone, unfortunately, you can't do it. But if you're on desktop, you can install the browser extension and it allows you a bunch more emotes. I know that a lot of streamers use it. Um, so yeah, that's like that's where we get a bunch of extra emotes, and that's also where. It is a little frog that is clapping his hands. <laughs> um, of course, Mestre, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out. And also Notable, I'm so sorry. I, I missed you coming in, but how are you doing? I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, and also, I think I saw some things earlier. Did I miss anything? No. Apart from Notable, I don't think I missed anything. Thank you all for clapping. Thank you all for showing your appreciation for the build. I appreciate that so, so much. I'm going to mark this one as complete. And then the next one is from Barachuta. Let me actually... Also, if you want to pet the cat, put O slash in chat. 
from Leeks, from Sarah, from Honeybee, from Fiona. Who is this kitty? Her name is Toot. I have two cats. The one that is on the chair behind her name is Sus, and um, her name is Toot. She is a little bit silly, but she loves hanging out on my desk as I stream. Also from Girl from Noreen, from Charlie, and from Notable, and from Clumsy Hippie, and from Ellie, and from Laura, and from Hollow, and from Ari, and from Ellie. We're getting so many pets. Huh? And also so many cat hair on my desk and in my keyboard. Unbelievable. Huh, dude? Unbelievable. So many cat kisses. Thank you for the hydrate again. I appreciate it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to... Hello? No. I accidentally copied the text I was trying to delete. <laughs> My desk also suffers from cat hair. I feel like it's 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 like a cat lover's trait, you know? To have cat hair on your desk and especially in my keyboard the other day i have this like mechanical keyboard so i can take off the keycaps to clean it once in a while and i did it and there was so much cat hair in my keyboard i was kind of kind of shameful hold up this is so different again this is definitely oasis springs and it is a 20 by 15. okay it is a tiny home Ugh. Cat hair in my mouth. Ugh. That was gross. <laughs> that was not nice. Um, of course, is. thank you so much for hanging out. Good luck at work. I'm sorry that you don't have any internet anymore, but um, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, bringing mom out of shock with your tail. Yeah, she was like, my face was stuck being shocked, and then she was like, let me just put my tail in there. Hmm? Like a plug in a wall outlet. Um, okay, but we're gonna go ha we're gonna have to go to Oasis Springs. The I should not kiss her, because it's, it's giving me cat hair everywhere. But I love you, so I'm gonna kiss you anyway, and you know it. Are you gonna watch the tours with me? Do you also wanna look at super creative Sims builds? Hmm? I think it is either here or here. I think those are the... I'm, I think it is over here. Baby boy is very mad at you. Oh no, what did you do to make him mad? Thank you, Charlie, for the lurk. Okay, it's not over here because this is green. I should remember that that like, part of the map is all green. I keep forgetting. Because obviously on the map, this doesn't look green. But I think all of these lots are actually green instead of deserty. So I think then it's over here. I love that we're going to have two like versions of the shell next to each other because then you're going to see how different or like how creative people get. Also, this version was made with only two packs, which on its own is already very impressive. Look, these go together so well. I can't believe how good that looks. And this show on its own already, genius. I can't wait to see what is inside because I'm so intrigued by this. But like these two next to each other make sense. Um, because he's sick. He doesn't like sleeping in then or like is it has it thrown off his routine and stuff? The roofing is absolutely incredible. This is very 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 well done. <gasps> I love that it's like a tiny home but it still has a pool. I don't think it's actually a tiny home like tile wise but it looks like a tiny home because it is like there's not much around it. And I like that there's two separate backyards with like a platform like this. Kind of, this is your place where you can have some dinner and hang at the fireplace. And then this is the side of the house where you can suntan and, and chill at the pool. And I love that it's not connected. That is like two different sides of the house. 
And this side also gets all of the sun where the pool is. And then this is kind of still in the shade during the day. And at night, like when it's kind of cooling down, actually this side where you can have dinner gets all the sun. He gets extremely cranky. And right now he wants me to hold him a certain way, but I don't know what the way is. Oh yeah, that's, that's frustrating. I love the colors. I'm obsessed with this again. Like, oh wait, I wanted to check at night as well. Ooh, I like it. Very like simply lit in just the places where it matters that there's light, but the rest of the build is just kind of dark. And I like that. This looks so good from the outside. I can't wait to see the inside, but I just want to do a little bit more appreciation of like the layout because this magic, seriously magic. Like, how do you come up with this layout? This is genius, Barachuda. Okay, let's check the inside. So if you come in, there is a little hallway. Ooh, I like the color scheme on the inside already. Very warm. I love it. So like nice little hallway. Love again, the curtain in front of the door. That's just so smart. If you live in a desert, that's probably very realistic. And then right off the side, you have a kitchen. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the dark blue with the orange that comes back in the tiling as well? That is such a good color scheme for a kitchen. Hi, Liv. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watering the plants. This is so cute. I know, right? I've never thought to use the orange fridge with like the copper sink and the orange stove. And also, I love that the grips on these drawers are also orange. That looks so good. <gasps> I see gallery art. I love it. Fits very well with the build. They did the... Wait. <gasps> they did! Oh my god. I love that everyone is now doing this. Like the... Using it as a cutting board, but then with the knife. Right next to it. Like it, it just works so well. It works so well. I'm, I'm here for it. And then right off the kitchen, there's like a nice little dining nook. Which is very smart because it is right off the door where you can actually have the dinner outside with like the grill and stuff. So that is a smart layout. Then around the corner, you have a, a little desk area where you can just do some work with the nice summer breeze or like some fresh air in the back. Very chill. And then this living room, excuse me. Again, like the colors and everything. I love how this build is modern, but it's not like your stereotypical monochrome modern it's not very black and white but still it is minimal modern i love this again bringing back the blues kind of the blues with the orange i'm here for it it's desert modern exactly yeah Ooh, what is here there's like a small little room here i'm curious i think oh yeah so this is the toilet very smart usage of this weird corner to so just put a toilet here i think that is genius because otherwise, this would have been a very strange corner in the living room. And I think this way, it just makes sense. Because a toilet like this, like, it works. You can walk in, use it, and then, like, it doesn't need any more. But still, it looks really good. I love also that you use the, um, what is it called? Like, the wallpaper with the leaves and stuff. Because I think I also, from the corner of my eye, spied that you used it in the bedroom. Or in the other, wait, no, you used it in the other bathroom. Oh, I like. Because here's the full bathroom. So there is a second toilet, a shower, a bath, and a sink. <gasps> That's a nice big bathroom. I also like that you did the separation between the toilet and the rest. Like it is kind of put aside. And I think that just makes sense. I also like that this is an ensuite off the bathroom. But then if you have guests over, there's kind of like a guest toilet. Yeah, right, Leaks, a little hot half wall separation is so good. So smart. Hi, Valeria, welcome in. How are you doing? It is good to see you. Hello, hello. And hi, Hannah, welcome in as well. Thank you for watering the plants. I hope you're doing good. Oh, and this bedroom. Look at this. I love the colors in this bedroom. Like, this is just the sun rising. It is so simple, but it is so beautiful. 
I love that you say sunset and I said like a uh, sun rising. Uh, the rain sound has me passed out and I slept so well. Let's go. I love it. This is so nice. Oh my goodness. I'm here for this. This little nook, I would love to sit here. Just read my book. Very nice. I love also that kind of like you have the pink over here in the wall uh, above the bed. And then over here, it kind of comes back with the orange and the pink in the wardrobe and the wallpaper. You said look and this, uh, this and the baby looked at the TV. That's so sweet. And then the, okay, hold up. So the pool is off the bedroom. Imagine living here, kind of waking up, just going for a casual swim, drying up in the sun, and then actually going to make your breakfast and everything. Hi, Sloan, welcome in. I hope you're doing so well. It is good to see you. I would totally holiday here. This is the perfect vacation home. I need to pull off my bedroom. It's been decided. Yes, I agree. I need that too. I mean, I live in the city and I don't live on the ground floor, but I don't care. I need, I need a pool now. This is a really good holiday home. I totally agree. Like, I see this somewhere in Spain or something. Or like Portugal, like one of the, a little bit, it, it's like one of those suburb neighborhoods off the beach. This is so cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with the whole layout that, that Barachuta did. Genius. Absolutely love the color scheme inside. It's just, it works so well. It is like, it was so intentional, even though obviously this build has so many weird shapes. It just makes sense. Thank you so much for joining in, Barachuta. I really, really appreciate it. I'm obsessed with this build again. Like, I, I can't stop obsessing over every single build that you guys make, but every single one of you is so heckin' talented. It's just so good, and I'm taking so much inspiration. I'm storing it in my brain, and I'm definitely gonna steal it. <laughs> just saying it up front. <laughs> but um, feel free to do some more applause in chat for Barachuta. I don't think Barachuta is here right now, but if they watch back the VOD, let's make sure there's a bunch of applause in the chat. Um, because this is... Another genius version of the shell. Yet again, completely different from anything we've seen so far. I think it is genius that we now have two versions of the shell next to each other. Both modern, both desert homes, completely different. I love how everyone just came up with their own version and, and really, truly made it their own style. And this is no exception. It is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining in and taking the time for doing the shell. I've had a blast touring this one and I love it and I'm obsessed. So thank you for joining in. I'm going to take off this tour as well. And then next up, we actually have Laura. But the thing is, I do kind of have to pee. Why am I suddenly nervous? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I was thinking of doing like a quick, maybe a little bit early break. I usually do my break around the two hour mark, but I, I just noticed that I really have to pee. So... <laughs> I don't want to do your tour while I have to pee because then I feel like I'm going to rush it. So I'm going to do an early break. Um, and then I'm going to tour yours right after. Feel free, if you are staying here over the break, to check out how cute you are today and what is in the fridge for you by doing exclamation point cute and exclamation point fridge. Eggs. You're giving me eggs, really, fridge? I was hoping for a good snack, but okay. Um, I'm also going to run some ads during my break. Don't worry, the ads are always shorter than um, my actual break, so you're not missing anything from the stream, but that way when I do it now, people that come into the stream after the break don't get any pre-roll ads, so it's just a nice way to welcome them in. Um, also, if you take any vitamins or medication, this is your daily reminder to take them, and don't forget to also practice some self-care, stretch, hydrate, all of the good things, and then I'll be back with you guys in about five minutes. Also, let's go, Laura. That's like... That's a good sign for your tour in a bit. That's also, that's going to be 100% cute, I tell you. But see you in a bit. <laughs>
Hello. I am back. Sorry, I I need to go here really quickly. Because I I just saw something. I can I have a very very exciting announcement. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so well. It is it is good to see you. I I have a very exciting announcement. I haven't been able to talk about it for the longest time. But it's officially up on the website. So, I mean, I think I can talk about it now. Like, you're not going to tell me I'm not going to be able to talk about it when it's officially up on the website. Like, that's not a thing. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys. Are you guys ready? You pick. I'm going to pick in a second, okay? I'm going to pick in a second. It's a very exciting announcement. I've been, I've been holding my breath on this one for like three, four months. Yeah, you ready? Can can like everyone do a drum roll for themselves? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna be on a panel at TwitchCon. Okay, it's wait, 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 wait. You need to pause the other music. I'm so excited. Okay, wait. Other music back on. <laughs> thank you, Micah, for the dance party. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I I was so excited for this. Like I've been I've been waiting to tell you guys, but obviously I wasn't allowed to talk about it until they've announced everything and stuff. But um yeah, I'm gonna be a speaker on TwitchCon. Um I'm gonna do a panel with uh three other absolutely amazing content creators um if you don't know their names i sincerely hope you do though because they're all seriously the best um amber who hangs out here as well but um i know a lot of you also know amber already but also jake jake david another amazing sims 4 streamer seriously best vibes and with happy <laughs> um happy actually organized this panel she's the the lead of the panel and she asked us to join in and we're going to we're going to talk about um like how social media can help you um, with your Twitch growth, but also basically just not growth only, but just like how streaming and other social media are kind of intertwined, um, what it means to use other social media, all of those good things. Um, I think it is actually uh, live streamed, or at least last year, that's what happened. Um, all of the panels were live streamed, so you could actually watch them even if you were not at the con. And um, so for anyone, obviously, if you're coming to TwitchCon, you are more than welcome to come to the panel. I would love to see some of your faces in the crowd. That would be like super amazing and so cool and so surreal. Also, I'm, I will probably be very nervous because obviously I'm used to talking to you guys behind a camera. It's not the same seeing you guys in public, <laughs> but I think it should be live streamed or at least that's what they did last year. So I'm going to make sure as soon as I get more information, it might be that I actually have to wait until the day itself where I will know more about it but i'm gonna make sure obviously in the discords to keep everyone updated and to like you know make sure that you all get the links where you can watch it if you come actually make it to the con itself or if you're not con coming to paris at all um but yeah i am so excited i'm so excited that i can i like finally share this with you guys um uh very cool topic as well very applicable happy came up with the idea and i'm so glad that she did because it when she announced it that she wa wanted to do this, I was like, hell yeah, this is something I want to talk about as well. Um, obviously, doing both TikTok and YouTube and using Twitter and Instagram as well. I was like, I kind of feel like I'm using a lot of social medias around streaming. Um, so I definitely have some insights and ideas on the topic. So I'm so excited. <laughs> 
uh when twitchcon paris is happening oh no i i mean vacation is also very nice let's be real vacation is very very good but um i mean there's always a next year as well like i went last year in amsterdam and i'm going this year again in paris but i know there's a bunch of people who weren't there last year in amsterdam who are coming this year and vice versa so there's always a next year um but yeah i'm so excited about this i'm so excited Excuse you, uh, you're doing what now? I'm speaking on, on a panel, Kara, a TwitchCon. Also, hi, I hope you're doing good. Where's TwitchCon next year so I can start saving? They always announce it like after this one's taken place. So I don't know yet where it's going to be. Um, Somewhere in Europe, but they like, I think they announced Paris on the last day of TwitchCon in Amsterdam, they like announced it's going to be Paris, but then they still didn't announce the dates until like two months ago, I think. Thank you, Mama Hoops. Thank you. Also, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for watering the plants. And also, hi, Evie. <laughs> I'll keep my hopes alive for some place in the Nordic area. That would be so cool. Can watch this on Twitch. I hope so, Charlotte. Hi. <laughs> I hope so. Um, last year it was broadcasted. Um, because I know that people were watching the stream and they were like, say, because uh, Amber was on a panel last year and people were saying like, haha, I saw you in the audience in Amber's panel. So I think you should be able to see it. Is it ever in the UK? Um, I don't know. I think the whole reason is because, uh, they only started doing TwitchCon Europe, I think five years ago. And I don't know where it has been so far. I haven't been, I've only been to the one in Amsterdam and that was supposed to be in 2020, but then obviously it got canceled due to COVID. And it only happened in 2022. So um, I think they've only done four other TwitchCon EUs before. It is also, I, do, I wouldn't say it's a lot smaller, but it is significantly smaller than TwitchCon US. Um, also in terms of like brands and big partners and stuff that come over here. Um, but it is going to be my first TwitchCon as a partner, which means that I like, I get to go to the partner party and I get to go to the partner lounge and like all of those cool things that last year I was like, Oh my god, imagine being able to do that. <laughs> um, Berlin then cancelled Amsterdam, then Amsterdam, now Paris. Wait, it has only been two times before then. So Berlin and Amsterdam. Or maybe, does Scott go with you? No, 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 no. He is actually, um, like, like I said before on stream, he's not really connected to Twitch or the community or anything. Um, and he also wants to give me my space to just do my thing. So I'm actually staying in a house with a bunch of other streamers. Um, uh, thank you for the shout out for Amber. Okay. Yes. We're going to do shout out for every individual on the list, which I think is a brilliant plan. Um, so if you guys don't know Amber, Amber is going to be on the panel with me. Um, you should really drop your butt on the follow button above chat. Hi, Amber. <laughs> we were not talking about you. Ams is here, the queen herself. Also, I still have to do the channel point redemption. I'm gonna wear the broken crown again because I still need to fix the other crown so that it doesn't annoy me and you don't really see that it is a bit broken. But Amber, oh my God, we're gonna be on the panel. I'm so glad that we can finally talk about it. I'm so glad that we can finally talk about it. Also, there's a cooldown on that shout out thing, so it might take a while before we can do a shout out for Happy and Jake, but we should totally do shout outs for Happy and Jake because they're amazing. Um, but yeah, this is this is super surreal. Hi, Faye, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. It is good to see you. This is super surreal. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> But yeah, that was the thing. I saw it during the break. I got an email from Twitch like, hey, do you already have your TwitchCon tickets? And I was like, yeah, duh, I'm speaking. Uh, <laughs> and then I looked at, I was like, are we already up on the website? And we are up on the website. Hi, Awful Joe, welcome in. It is so good to see you. Hello, hello. <laughs> I wish I could go. I wish that too, Rosalie. I would love to give you a big, big hug. But yeah, maybe, maybe another time or maybe at one point I will come to the US. Like, it's not impossible. But this is so cool. I'm so excited. And I'm very glad that I got to share it with you guys today. It is funny, though, that, like, I think it's three weeks ago I found out partner. Was it three weeks ago? Four weeks ago. About the partner thing on stream on Wednesday. And now it's, like, this on Wednesday stream. 
I don't know what is up with the Wednesday stream, but they're always like slightly chaotic. Thank you for the shout out for Happy. Okay, you guys, you all need to lift and drop your butt on Happy's follow button right now. Also, Sims 4 streamer. Fun fact, we're all Sims 4 streamers, even though, Amber, you've also streamed other things, but like mainly you're streaming Sims 4 right now. It is a panel with Sims 4 streamers. <laughs> Because Happy is also a Sims 4 streamer, does um, mostly 100, very cursed, but very funny 100 baby challenge, and also some building. I know, right? Sims panel, let's fucking go. We are amazing. <laughs> I mean, I think it is pretty cool. Because so often, like, there's still this kind of thing where people are like, eh, the Sims is not a real game. Like, are you sure, though? There's like four freaking Twitch partners doing a panel, all Sims streamers. Look at us go. <laughs> I'm so hoping they'll stream it. I I really hope they'll stream it. I I really hope they'll stream it. Plumbob t-shirt. Oh my god, imagine if we all show up in a Plumbob t-shirt. <laughs> that would be like you got to wear the merch. No, I'm not going to wear my own merchandise. No. No, that's awkward. I I think I'm just going to I like to be fair, like being on a panel already feels not like self promoting in a way, but I don't want to be like that person self promoting you know? I just want to talk about the topic and like actually like have a good panel that is informative to people showing up. I think I'm, I, I, I'm already stressing over what I'm about to wear, you know? Self promo, follow me on Twitch, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, didn't you feel like this last year, Amber, when, you know, like in a way, yes, you're a Twitch streamer and this is exposure, but you don't want to make like the panel self promo -y about yourself. Like, does that make any sense that I say that? <laughs> um, a little plenty mug on the table. Yeah, just very casually putting it down there, you know. <laughs> um, no one followed me from it, so uh, it didn't feel promo. -y. Okay, okay, good, good. Like everyone there is a streamer. True. And I feel like also a really big chunk of the people that were in that room were already following you. <laughs> like the first two rows of people were like your fandom. <laughs> um, also, thank you for the shout out for Jake. If you guys do not know Jake, again, I'm going to say it again. Wonderful vibes, literally top tier energy. Um, also does a lot of gameplay. So if you're into that, really make sure to drop your butt on the follow button. And make sure to, if you can, tune tune in. Um, I really hope they're gonna live stream it, but um, tune into our our panel. <laughs> Look at those amazing faces! Can you believe it? Also, hi nuts, welcome in. So I wish I could go to TwitchCon. That would be so nice. I would love to meet you and give you a big hug. <laughs> it is so cool, though. But yeah. Hello, Kat. Toot, Toot was like, I want to be on the panel, too. Can, can I give my opinion on social media, please? <laughs> because I like social media, because social media means that I get attention. Hey, Toot. Yeah. And you like attention. You love attention, actually. <laughs> I'm giving her all the pets. But yeah, that's what I, I, I just quickly, well, not quickly, we've been talking about for 15 minutes, but wanted to share with you the very exciting thing. Um, and if they're live streaming, upping the Discord when you're on, amazing, Charlotte. I was thinking, like, um, I can also ask someone who is there from the community to kind of do it. Um, but I, I, I will also make sure to, like, if there's a link and stuff, I'll probably just ping Mach chat with all the information. Um, but if you could help with, like, pinging if we go for, like, live and stuff, that would be absolutely amazing. That would be great. I can't believe, like, if it's going to be live stream, I think last year was also on, like, the Twitch, Twitch stream, like, the actual Twitch account. Or, like, maybe it was an event account, but it was still quite a big account. It was really cool. <laughs> this build is good, right? We just toured it earlier. So I'm actually going to um, look up Loris right now. I think it was an event account, yeah. Wait, you were, I think, watching the panel, Evie, right? Let me just go here. You were. I remember this because I remember watching it back and seeing you in chat. 
Don't ask me why I watch back the panel that I actually watched live, because I, I was just too curious. Hold up. This is so different again. After this year's, I'm going to start saving for next year so I can go to TwitchCon as well and not just the place. Yes. I mean, I know that day tickets are still relatively expensive, but last year I just went one day. Um, and it was also the day that Ember had her pe panel, uh, but I didn't go on the Sunday. That does make it a bit cheaper. Um, I watched it back too. I love that. I love that we both did it, even though both of us were in the room. I'm going to watch the VOD later to see uh, everyone's stuff that I missed. I hate having meetings on Wednesday mornings. I hope the meeting went well, though. This feels, feels very cottage Corey, and I love it. I'm here for it. Let me see. I think... Guessing this is Willow Creek? It is a 30 by 20. I'm just going to go to Willow Creek. I think that's where it is. I'm guessing it. Not sure, though. It could also be Newcrest. But I think it's one of these lots. I think it's actually this one. I really hope it's the right one. Was it Newcrest? Yeah, it's not Newcrest. It's Newcrest, dang it. I was so close. Okay, now we have to go to Newcrest, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I know, but buying the day chicken isn't really worth it because I'll only arrive around 3 p.m. ish in Paris. Yeah, okay, no, then that's... If you only arrive at 3 p.m. On the, on the Saturday, it's definitely not worth going, like, getting a day ticket for the Saturday. That would be an absolute waste, for sure. Especially, I think what I just saw on the schedule... Wait, let me check it really quickly. Um, event activities. So, uh, no, wait, schedule. I'm just quickly going to check. So the morning of TwitchCon, it actually opens at 10. And then there is already a bunch of sessions before the opening ceremony at 10.45. I remember last year we arrived at TwitchCon, I think, at 10. And, the, and then we like walked straight to the Glitch Theater and it was already full. Like the opening ceremony gets so busy. So busy. Um, but it starts at, like, or at least opens at 10 and the venue closes at six. Oh no, wait, six to seven is the last session. <gasps> oh my God. The music on the first day is going to be by Sarah Copona. That is like a Twitch streamer I've been following since she just streamed for like 50 people. She's a pianist and she is so good. I can't believe that I'm going to get to see her live. Also, hi, Sakura girl. Welcome in. I hope you're doing really well. Hello, hello. But yeah, it's, it is only until 7. So if you arrive at 3, then it's definitely not worth it. And then the second day, it opens at 10 again. And it closes at... Yeah, like the last actual thing, because there's a UK community meetup from 5 to 6. But the last actual event with music is until quarter to six. I'm doing good. How are you doing today? I'm so excited. I'm going to check out the whole schedule and like see what I, what I want to see. Because last year I didn't do many sessions and stuff. But this year, obviously I got a ticket for the whole weekend. I really do want to see some more sessions and panels and stuff. Because last year I feel like I really missed out. Um, Let me actually grab your build, Laura. Because I'm very excited for this one. Uh, yes, I want to place it. Thank you very much. Ooh, okay. Hold up. How, how, again, how does this look so good already? Hello? It's so much prettier with shaders. I think you're like the second person to say this. I love it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so, so well. This is absolutely gorgeous. Hello. Landscaping is 10 out of 10. Hard agree. You're also doing good. I'm so glad to hear that, Sakura girl. I'm so, so glad to hear that. This is absolutely stunning. I love it. The landscaping is so well done. This whole backyard is I love how it isn't actually like a square. 
I always make my backyard square and I shouldn't, I should stop doing that because this looks so much better. It looks so much more organic and natural. It is so gorgeous. I love already, like this is such a functional build as well. If you were to play here as like a grill, planter boxes, nice outside area. I see some nice clutter. For, is this is this clutter from the gardening pack or is this? No, it is base game. I keep forgetting that we have this in the base game. And then like the swing set, I love it. I'm back and I instantly seeing a beautiful build. Agree, right? It is so beautiful. And then here as well, like a little chest table. I love the water hose, nice detail. Very, very nice. Ooh, there's another little balcony over here. I like it. Let's go. And then in front you have, again, beautiful landscaping. This is yet another example of not being too landscaped, but like la landscaped exactly the right amount. I'm so tempted to install Reshape because of these tours. Okay, but just to give you like a quick, it also looks amazing without shaders. Oh, my boyfriend is calling, but I was like, is he talking to himself? But he has headphones on. <laughs> See, without shaders, it's still really beautiful. It is still absolutely amazing. And I love the front porch. There's also a little side table. Landscaping credits, the little Simsy. I, I see what you did here with like these bushes and then these bushes. I do that too. She taught me landscaping as well. The mother of all landscaping. <laughs> these lots always feel so uh, small when I do a build on them. Everyone is so good at filling the space without it feeling cramped, right? That's what I was thinking, Faye. Can I buy this house, please? Yes. Or at least I'm saying yes, but you should ask Laura because she's the owner of the house. <laughs> okay, let's actually check on the inside. Ooh, I'm already loving like the light and the darker wood. Okay, so you enter and you have this nice little hallway. Okay, these windows, absolutely gorgeous here. They give so much beautiful light. Very nice. I love the color scheme of like all the neutrals. Like the white and the beige and the dark brown. Low-lying uh, yellow flowers size up for life. Yep, I've done that so much. <laughs> like little Simsy explaining landscaping saved my bills. Same. I learned all of my tricks from her. Putting this on the wall inside of this shelf is so dang smart. I love it. I love the whole layout of this house. There's like, so far you just enter and there's just a kitchen and the living, well, not really living room, but kind of like kitchen and just, it is kind of a living space, but not really a living room. Does that make sense? Like it's a dining room. And then you have a little study work area, but there's also the cozy chair next to the, the bookcase, which kind of allows you to like have a nice place to read and stuff. The herbs as well. I, yeah. Oh my God. That's genius. Absolutely genius. I'm stealing that. And then the kitchen layout is very nice. That works very well what you did with the half wall to kind of separate it. And also look, the little trick with the cutting board and the knife, genius. I love seeing so many of you doing it. So smart. And all the clutter on top of the, the fridge. That is chef's kiss. I keep grabbing this rug. I don't want to. This swatch also is really pretty. I keep forgetting we have it, but I need to use this more. I need to use it more. Okay, I'm very curious what is behind this door. The bathroom. I was already wondering, like, I'm expecting a bathroom, but I was so curious if it was actually going to be the bathroom. Very nice. I never use these indoors, but they work really well indoors. Cute little bathroom with just like a sink, toilet, and a bathtub shower combo, everything you need. Very, very nice. And then over here is like, I like that you added a curtain to this. That's so smart. Kind of allows you to close off the room. Ooh, 
Nice. So they're like a small living space. Very, very smart use of space. Also with like this little weird corner here. It kind of hides away all your clutter. And they can do some painting here. I like it. Also, I love the mix of wallpapers in this room. I love it. This is such a, like, this room is a very awkward shape. But you made it make sense. And that is so good. Like, it feels kind of like a, almost like a hallway or a passing area. I would have probably never thought to put the living space in here. But it works really, really well. It works really well. Oh, I didn't mean to yawn. <laughs> and then the bedroom. I love it. The pride flag as well. Let's go. Hi, Rose. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so, so well. I hated the room, um, but love how it turned out. It turned out really well. You did an amazing job. Can go home. Let's go. How was work today? I hope it was good. I love that you kind of use the colors from the flag in the rest of the room as well. I have never thought to put like half walls next to uh, a, 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 what is this called? A wardrobe thingy? Can I go home? No, no, no. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm already home. <laughs> Only 11 minutes late, but I got to order frames. I need it for my old family pictures for super cheap because I work in a photo store. Let's go. That's so nice. That's so nice. I wouldn't open the wrapper for uh to chocolate candy for the baby because it's only 10 11, so he bit the wrapper off. He was dedicated to having chocolate at 10 a.m. in the morning. Like 10 bucks for giant frames, that's a steal. Giant frames usually are so expensive. This is so smart, Laura, of adding like the half walls to the side of a, of a wardrobe. It really frames it in and it makes it feel like it actually belongs there rather than just kind of standing in the middle of the room. I'm going to do that too. I like that a lot. And again, the beautiful big window kind of looking out on the on all of the like nature and stuff. He really wanted the chocolate. He was like determined to get it. And then that leads out to the little balcony on the side so that like the bedroom has their private balcony. <gasps> I love this. I did the first bedroom and then thought this looks like uh, the lesbian pride flag. So I'll put it in. Wait, really? So you first did the bedroom and then it kind of came together like that. I thought it would, 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 have been the, would have been the other way around because it works so well. I love it. Very good move. Very, very well done. Hello, I was going to welcome in. Of course, Ellie. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your time zone. Um, thank you for also watering the plants, Puskunen. Thank you, thank you. Also, I'm just very quickly going to do this for the simple sake that I want to make sure to mention it a couple of times on stream. Um, if you guys haven't heard about it yet, uh, we moved to a new Discord yesterday. Um, I completely revamped the way that the Discord looks, like the channels, the onboarding process, everything. And it was such a major change that I couldn't do it in the old Discord. So we're moving to a new Discord. If you're hanging out here and you are still in our old one or you're actually looking to join our Discord where I keep everyone updated on my stream schedule, on exciting announcements, and we can just vibe and hang out with the community after stream hours, feel free to click the link that was just posted in chat because it will actually lead you to the new Discord. Um, let's go, Kiki! Oh my goodness, congratulations on becoming a palm tree. Thank you so much for spending that amount of time here that you actually got to redeem the palm tree roll. That is 10,000 points. Holy heckies. That is a lot. <laughs> hi, Knights. i so used to reading it and then just saying your name instead of Kaylin. But hi, Kaylin. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Also, if one of the mods currently hanging out here feels comfortable adding the role in the Discord or like trying to figure it out, I can give you some directions. You should have the rights in the new Discord, but um, I figured, Charlotte, you can do it. You know how to do it, but um, like I can also make like a little instruction for both. I think you did it. Hello, 
just Charlotte being like on it. And then I'm like, I was like, I already did it. You know, <laughs> let's go. I love that you just figured it out. Genius. I'm here for it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I think if you do... Is it this? Does that work? Or is it palm tree? I'm not sure what Sweetie set up as the command. Okay, I haven't added it for you. <laughs> the command is lying. But, um... If you ever do, Charlotte, we, ha we share a brain cell, I think. <laughs> but you now have it. Let's go. Congratulations on becoming a palm tree in the Discord. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, but this build, Laura, seriously amazing. Your roofing skills are like 100 out of 10. This was a difficult one to roof, and it you made it look so good. I love the whole color scheme that you did. I love the whole theme that you did. I love the bedroom, like the whole combination with the flag, but it actually being the other way around that you first did the bedroom and then it turned out to be the flag. This is so well done. This is so pretty. It looks so cozy and I just want to live here. It looks so peaceful. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. It is nice to meet you. The roofs are absolutely amazing on this build. You did a fantastic job. Can we all get like some massive applause in the chat for Laura for making this wonderful build? I think it looks amazing. I'm obsessed. Again, an another round of me being obsessed with your build. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for taking on the challenge of doing this shell. It was definitely not an easy one and you did an absolutely amazing job. Thank you so much. I hope you had fun. I at least had so much fun touring it. <laughs> I'm going to check off your name. Um, let me see. Uh, also, I just realized I quickly need to have this open. Uh, the next one is Kiki. Are you ready, Kiki? Also, Lillian. Do I say that correctly if I say Lillian? Welcome to chat. I hope you're doing really well. It is nice to meet you. I love the challenge. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so happy that you did. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. So excited. I love seeing all of your shells. You guys are ridiculously talented, like unfair. Another modern one. Okay. I remember you saying you gave up on the landscaping. <laughs> you were like, nope, I'm done. To be fair, it's a desert, so it's not weird. When in doubt, I go modern. I love that. I mean, this is very clearly Oasis Springs. And I also think I know where, because I think this is the lot that I started my Not So Berry Challenge on. So let's move to Oasis Springs again. No, wrong button, Rosanna. Wrong button. There we go. I think, I think if I remember correctly, it is this lot. But there's already a build here. It's like right behind my webcam. Is it, I think it is on a 30 by 40. So maybe I'm just going to go here. Because I don't want to take out the other build. I don't want to destroy it. Ooh, you know who normally lives here? Or no, I think the land grabs normally live here. So we're going to move you in across the, well, non-existent land grabs in this build or in this save, but you're going to live here, okay? I did see already, sneakily, that you did some train tools. And I'm very curious to see how that turned out. Hold up. This is not what I expected when I looked at the picture first. With the round corners too, excuse me? Oh, 
Hello? How is this so good? Wait, how did you do this? How is this glass? I think I know. I think there's like a debug, like a debug foundation that makes the pool look like it's made of glass. Okay, it is the debug foundation. I was already wondering. That is genius. Excuse you, this is so well made. Hi, RZ, welcome in. I hope you're doing so, so well. It is good to see you. My mind is absolutely blown. Like, you used so many platforms and, like, different heights in this build. And with the train tool and stuff, look at you saying, I gave up on my landscaping. This doesn't look like a build where, of someone who gave up on their landscaping. This just looks like a build that was in the desert. So there is not, like, super many plants growing, but it has exactly the round, right amount of landscaping. If I ever move to the desert, I can take this house to live in. Thank you. Yes. All of the edging of those platforms uh, is a single piece. Wait. The edging of the platforms is... Wait, what? In public transport, Rose? Oh my goodness, I just saw what you meant. The effort. <laughs> During rush hour, someone just really wanted some watermelon. The effort in individually placing all of this. Hello, sweetie. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I can never. Uh, this is this is just what. EA Games challenge everything. I'm obsessed. Okay, I can't wait to check the inside because the outside, honestly, already amazing. Like you even did like a sunken sort of pit for the grill. Oh yo. <laughs> I love that monkey's from That just unlocked some memories. My boyfriend actually has a sweater uh, of Uncle Roger saying, hiya. <laughs> At least I'm hoping that's what you're referring to. Otherwise, now I sound very silly. <laughs> you definitely didn't do this in three hours. How long did you spend on this, Kiki? This is like, also, you, you took a massive lot. With which item is this? I'm gonna check it for you. Like, you mean the, the side panels, right? It was made, it is from um, the small stone wall column facade from Jungle Adventure. It is, let's go, okay, I'm glad I got it. <laughs> um, there's a floating platform. Wait, where is? Where's the floating platform? Oh! <gasps> I'm glad that you said hi to the bartender, but apart from that, I'm very, very jealous, sweetie. What the heck? Upper floor? Oh, <laughs> a little triangle. Look at that. There's, we're, we're, we're just going to go like that and then you don't see it. It's not there. <laughs> it's not there. Okay, we're going to check the inside of the house. So you have this, like you walk all the way up here. And then the door is on the side. I like it. And then you enter. There's like a nice little hallway with uh, a place to store your coats and everything. Very, very nice. And then beautiful living room. I love it. I love the color scheme. I love that you went for like the bright blue, but you don't, didn't just use it in the couch. You used it like on multiple places. Very nice. I like it. Yes, it's an Easter egg. Dutch bartenders get good. Yeah, they really should. They really should. This is so pretty. I love all the white and like all the light, but then with the dark floor, like there's such a good contrast to the build. 
Yes, sweetie. No, no, you can't make me more jealous. Dang it, you're making me more jealous. Why are you saying that's fine? That is such good weather. We, I mean, we have kind of the same temperature, but it's raining. I'm actually curious. What is the... Yeah, okay, very true, sweetie. Very true. Wait, it is only 14.4. It feels much warmer. Feels much, much warmer. Also, hi, Mark. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so well. <gasps> this kitchen, though. Hello. Look at that big window. Imagine this being your kitchen. Just so much light. I love this. I love that you have the cups in the sink. Stop. That is amazing. That is absolutely genius. But uh, it's going to rain. 19 degrees is nice, though. I'm obsessed with the kitchen. I also love, like, the half wall with the separation between kind of, like, the living area with the dining room and the, the living space and then just the kitchen. It's, like, open, but not really. Like, it kind of keeps away your kitchen clutter, but still, if you were cooking here, you can speak with people that are in the living room, you know? I love... Sorry, love this. Amazing. Stunning. Wonderful. Oh, you made a bathroom out of this? Of course, that is genius, Kiki. Because this is a weird room. Yes, sweetie, that would make me really upset. I really miss espresso house. I can't wait to have espresso house. I'm going to buy espresso house beans again when, when I'm in Oslo in the summer. I don't know if it's functional. That's fine. Like, it didn't have to be functional. I think this build actually might be functional, though. I think this works, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. But if someone wants to play in this build, I feel like it is relatively easy to just kind of sneakily change this um, and then still use it. I think that would be okay. Ooh, you made it. Wait, how did you get two bedrooms in here? That's impressive. Hi, Evelina. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so, so well. It is good to see you. Look at that. That's such a cute bedroom. Hello. I'm obsessed. I never use this wallpaper, but I'm definitely gonna after this. And the amount of clutter you put in again. Love it. There are better beans to be had than Espresso House in your, if you're in Oslo. I like Espresso House. I'm, I'm just that person. I'm sorry. <laughs> the bathroom looks like a bathroom in Berlin. What makes you say that it's specifically Berlin? Is it the blue tiles? Why is the floor sparkling? Yeah, it's because I have the vacuum kit. So it's telling me that the floor is very clean. Now that you mention it, actually, it's been annoying me all this time. But for some reason, like I, I kept seeing it. I was like, oh, I need to turn it off. And then I forgot again. Um, I'm going to disable that right now because the sparkles are actually kind of annoying. Yeah, I know, Rose. I just keep forgetting it. In every single save, I have to do it again. And I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, the sparkles. <laughs> thank you, Melissa, for the lurk. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Ellen is a better bean in Oslo. I mean, a heart, that's like a hard agree, but I can't drink Ellen. And I also cannot buy her in a bag and take her home. So there's that. Like, <laughs> the layout of the bathroom, tiny but functional. Fair enough, fair enough. I love this room. I love that what you did with like all the, the wall decorations and stuff that you went through the time to like pick all of these. That's so cute. Everything has a price. I'll tell Ellen. I'll be like, um, you know what? You're coming with me in a bag to Rotterdam. It is so adorable. I really love it. Ooh, this bedroom is also so pretty. I love all the clutter, like all the makeup on the desk and like the makeup on this or like the clutter on the side table. So realistic for a bedroom. Very nice. Also, again, very weirdly spaced room, but you made it work so well. What the heck? This makes so much sense. Also, I just noticed the cheeky little trash can over here in this weird corner. Very smart, because your sims never really need to walk over to the trash can. This way you can just drag everything in here, but they never really have to go here. And I like it. Because I don't think your sims can... Well, maybe they can step over this fence. I'm actually not sure. I love this home, though. 
It is so light. It is so cozy. It is even a two-bedroom home, which is very impressive considering the shell. It wasn't too big, so... Because I hate it when Sims kick it over. It honestly is one of the most frustrating things. Like, why do they need to do that? I never kick around my own trash can. It just doesn't make any sense. I know a small family owned a coffee roastery just outside of Oslo, uh, which deliver amazing coffee. I mean, my boyfriend is a coffee lover, so... He would probably appreciate a good cup of coffee. Hi, Veldar. Welcome in. How are you doing? It is so good to see you. Mm. A man needs a name. Yes, a, a girl needs a name too. <laughs> I love this build so much. Thank you so much, Kiki, for joining in on the show. I think you did an absolutely amazing job with like using train tools and everything is highly impressive. I love what you did with the whole backyard with like all the platforms and stuff. It is so creative. It is so clearly like a nice family home, mom and dad and one of the kids living here, having like all this space in the backyard. If you were to play in this build, th this would be so nice. So, so nice. The backyard is insanely creative. I love what you did with the layout of the house. You made all of the awkward spaces, all of the awkward corners work perfectly. And a good modern build is just, you can't go wrong with it. And I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for joining in, for doing the shell. Can we get some massive applauses in chat again for Kiki? You did a great job. I'm obsessed. Thank you for doing it. I hope you have fun doing it. <laughs> um, also, thank you for taking off. The I was just about to take it off, sweetie, but I'm guessing you're doing it again. <laughs> also, I saw some people coming in. I'm just going to talk about it like Again, because I know we already talked about it, so I'm not going to talk about it as long, but I'm going to mention it again because I saw some people coming in who weren't here, like, I would say about an hour ago, like 45 minutes ago. I just have to, like, open it quickly so I can I can show it off again. So um, for anyone that came in in, like, the last 45 minutes and who missed the very spontaneous, exciting announcement that I did, I have something to show you guys. Even with placing the edging on the platforms, let's go. I'm glad that you had fun, Kiki. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna be at a TwitchCon panel. I'm on the panel. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. I saw some people. I'm also going to announce it in the Discord. So, um, like, for people that are not here in the stream, I'm also going to make sure to announce it on the Discord so people that are coming to TwitchCon will actually know. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I know of, like, three of those people. Yeah, you do. You do. And, and like, er all, of, all of us are pretty cool, I would say. <laughs> I love how you're just sit, uh, sit there sipping, waiting for reactions. I was mostly waiting for Sweetie's reaction because I knew it was going to type something. Well, you know where I'll be on the 8th. Watching, watching the panel on online. I mean, I know that you're not going to be on the con, but... <laughs> of course, of course, Charlotte. Um, good luck in the new house. I've heard of 25% of those people. Mestre, then you have a job to do. You need to fix knowing the other 75% as well. Because they're all amazing. Um, so I put a washing cloth in my washing machine. I forgot I um, put my bar of soap in there. Oh no, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Are they sim streamers as well? Yes. Very much. Although Amber also does some other games. I know that Amber has been playing some Minecraft. She usually played, uh, or before she played a lot of Animal Crossing, um, yeah, even Among Us and stuff. Right Hello, Mick. <laughs> Thank you for the multi shout out. I appreciate it. Um, but Happy and Jake are mainly Sim streamers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the soap is a lot smaller and my laundry smells kind of off. I can imagine. Yeah. 
I don't think regular soap works very well in a washing machine. Guess how much I just leg pressed? 125. Wait, what? Jake David is Pamber nowadays? What? But yeah, the um, double that, holy shit, Mick, that's a lot. <laughs> Your Twitch algorithm is already confused enough because of the amount of start. Maybe, maybe, Mestre, the, the Twitch algorithm is trying to tell you something. Oh, the multi shadow fucked, fucked up your clue. Okay. <laughs> but Mick, speaking of cool things, I mean, it's not as cool as leg pressing a lot of weights because I could never do that. But look! Hee <laughs> hee! To start playing Sims and Stardew. Yeah. But yeah, this was like the, I just wanted to mention it again because I saw some people coming in who didn't know yet and I'm very excited about it. Um, the panel was initiated by Happy, um, and I'm very honored and very proud that I uh, get to be part of the panel. Um, like I already said earlier, I'm also, I'm expecting because last year they live streamed it when Ember was on a panel. So I'm expecting that they might live stream it again. I'm gonna make sure that if um, they do live stream it, I will provide like a link in the Discord and stuff. So you guys can watch it if you want. Um, and tell you or Amps to watch your posture. Oh God, no. I, I will be sitting up like super straight being like, I might not be completely straight, but I'll be like. <laughs> um, holy shit, 360. Thank you for the lurk, M. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your nap. But yeah, I'll make sure to like link it everywhere if uh, if they do live stream it because then you get guys can just like watch along. Remember how I passed along a posture check from Amps last year? No. I mean, you were in the room with us, right? Good point, Andy. Good point. Very fair. Um also, the next uh tour that we're going to do is the one from Jesse. Uh, is that LBS or kilograms? It's kilograms. 360 kilograms. That's a lot. Uh, let's connect and let's find a Jesse shell. Although... No, Charlie was the one who asked me to do it on Friday. Um... I was watching chat from my phone while being there. That was it. Yeah. Why am I nervous? It's going to be amazing. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm already very impressed with what I see. Also, this is definitely Windenburg. And I think I also know which lot this is. Okay, let's travel to not Windenburg, Brindleton Bay, Rosanna, Brindleton Bay. I always mess up the names of those two worlds. I don't know why. Um... Oh my god, Fiona, thank you. I've never understood this either. That's why I'm always very confused when I see it in a sentence. I'm like, is that pounds or what? Like, why? I think Evie redeemed posture check, so I passed along her message when she was looking at me. That's hilarious. I love that. The roofing was rough for me. I'm so curious to see what you did. I mean, on the picture already, it looked amazing. I think it is this lot. Or no, is it? This is a, a 40 by 40. Yes, it's that lot. <gasps> Look at me knowing my lots. Oh my goodness. I think so far I had like 50-50 of my guesses. I have the Latin word Libra which meant both weight or balance skills. Similarly, the symbol for the British pound is... Uh, we, uh, it's actually an L with a line through it because it also comes from Libra Pondo and the pound's value originally equated to the price of a pound or silver. Yeah, 
the more you know, but I think that's actually kind of a cool, kind of a cool explanation. Never thought about it that way. Or like never expected that to be the explanation. Okay, let's place it. I'm very curious. Ooh, okay, item's been removed. It always says that. Oh, I'm already lo loving like the layout of the lot. Very nice use of space. I see another very big backyard. <gasps> this is so smart. Honestly, this is a perfect place to take pictures. Like if you do poses with your Sims, this is so romantic. Hilden is quite obviously, yeah, yeah. Although you would have to speak Dutch to understand it, I think. Although it is, I think it's from gold, right? Golden. Um, That was my favorite part. It is so well made. I love it. Very, very, very smart. Very well done. I'm obsessed. Very good. Oh my god, I'm, I'm already... Like, mind is blown. I love the landscaping here as well. Like, all the flowers and... This is so cute. And look at the little bench underneath the tree. That's... This is a very romantic house. Very romantic. Also, I'm so curious to see what you've done with the shapes. I like the tree that you put here. Kind of to hide that corner. Very smart. If you don't know what to do, oh, just put a plant. Just put a tree. That always works. Ooh, I love this too with like the separated garden area like so. Ellie! What the heck? Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Rose. That is very, very, very kind of you. Please, Rose, welcome back to the jungle. You're strong growing plenty again. Please enjoy your badger emotes and your ad reviewing for a whole month. I imagine the couple living here, that is just perfect. And this as well, look at the little pathway to the hot tub. Very nice. I love that. I love these round stepping stones. I don't think I ever use them, but I'm definitely gonna after this. Very cute landscaping in the back. I'm obsessed. Very, very nice. This also, again, looks like a very playable build. Like you have everything you need. You have like gardening space. There is a chess table over here. You can, you have a woohoo hot tub. There's some swing sets. Like it just, it has everything. Also, I just noticed this porch is like fully wrapped around. Hello? It goes all the way from here, all the way around to here. That's amazing. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. The old um, Discord command still works with like the new Discord. So, but this is good. This is nice to know. We can like do that during these days. I like it. Thank you for setting it up. Also, I'm gonna quickly, because it is getting slightly dark in my room. There we go. That's better. Um, ooh. I did not expect this to be fully black and white. The link is the same. Yeah, I know, but still. <laughs> I mean, still. I did not expect that to be fully black and white, but I love it. Very crisp, yeah. Okay, so you come in over here and then you enter in this like nice open area. I like it, that's a good entrance. You just immediately have like this sense of space and then the little pops of blue, I noticed it too in the curtains and stuff. You have this nice space. There's like a place for your clutter and stuff and your coats. And then you immediately have the kitchen. Love the layout. I think this is like the second long kitchen. I never do the long wall kitchens, but now that I see them, I'm like, I want to do that too. Because it just looks so nice and open. Really, really love it. Very nice. And then over here, you have like this big dining space. Again, looking out on the garden. I love that when your dining space just looks out with the big windows on the garden. I don't know, I can just see myself having breakfast kind of just looking outside. I love that, the world waking up and stuff. 
And then over here, there's the door to the actual patio. And also this house is ready for a dog or a pet or like a cat and stuff. I love it. Definitely a house that loves to host a lot of people. Yes, they have the space for it. Like both outside, there's the picnic table, but also here there's like a big dining area. It is so well fit for parties and stuff. And I like that there's like the double doors, but they're not next to each other. So you can kind of go left or you can kind of go right, but both will bring you to this gorgeous living room. I don't think I've ever used this couch because I never know how to do it. But this is so pretty. I love to see six people dine on that table. Specifically, I love to see the Sims getting six people or like six Sims on the table at the same time. Sims would play musical chairs for sure. Yes, they would. Hi, Nikki. Welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're doing so well. It is good to see you. So pretty. What the heck? I mean, okay, there is one thing. Ooh, I, nice. I like the gallery art again. There is one thing about this house that like if I have, if I were to live here, I would constantly worry about it. Imagine actually having like a pristine white carpet in your home. I would be so scared of constantly staining it like all the freaking time. It looks stunning. But I don't think I could ever do this IRL. It would just not work. Even though I love the looks of it. Oh, I see more gallery art. I love that. Very pretty. So fresh, so clean above the bathtub. That is genius. Wash your hands. These are all like so applicable. Brush your teeth. Stop. This is so lo so lovely. So nice. I mean, it's also lovely, but I wanted to say nice. And that almost became this is so nice. <laughs> I love it. Have a nice poop. This is genius. Where did you find these, Jesse? This is brilliant. <laughs> now, I want something in my in my toilet that says I have a nice poop. And then like if my guests come over, they can just read it and be like, oh, thank you. How encouraging. You know, you got to encourage people. Hype them up and everything, even on the toilet. But I love that. I love how big this bathroom is. This is like so spacious. I love that so much. And then I think you also have two bedrooms. So we have this one, which is like the big, big bedroom. I think this is like the main one. Also, I just noticed uh, you have light switches. You have earned my respect. The fact that you actually remember to do that. Again, with the pops of blue, a lot of neutral colors, a little workspace in the, in the bedroom. I love that. Absolutely amazing. And then off to the side, we have another double bedroom with, with their own TV as well. Let's go. And even like all of the shoes neatly placed underneath the wardrobe. I love it. Um... I'm, I'm, Nikki, just for the sake of, I'm going to delete your message because it could definitely be triggering. Um, but I did read it. I'm very sorry. If you want to talk about it or if you like want to, um, vent somewhere or if you want to like share something about it, feel free to, um, use the mental health channel or like the mental well-being channel that we have in the discord. That is the best place. Um, because then people can like kind of opt out of that channel if they don't want to read that because obviously it is a triggering topic, but I am so, so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sending you all the good vibes, all the love. Um, but I'm very sorry that happened. Um, all the best to you and like your family and the people around you right now. I can imagine that is a really tough time. This room is really pretty though. I love all the pops of blue everywhere. Like it is, it is so consistent throughout the whole house. Like there's little pops of blue and I love it. I love it. And thank you all for giving hugs to, to Nikki. That is very kind of you guys. Thank you, thank you. 
And then over here, wait. Here it just says flush the toilet. Oh no, but it also says... Look! Shit's about to go down. On the toilet. Very nice. Uh, I can't, can't find that room in the Discord. Um, we have a, a, a new Discord. I'm not sure if you're already in the new Discord, if you like, because the old Discord is closed down. So the link that was just posted in chat will actually take you straight away to the new Discord. Um, and you do have to assign yourself like the, um, uh, like the role uh, or like the role. If you onboard the new Discord, it will ask you if you want to gain access to the mental health topic channel. If you say yes to that or like if you click it, you should gain access to that room. Um, it is called mental well-being. And feel free to place it in there. You can also kind of give like a, a, a trigger warning or like a content warning, kind of mentioning what the topic is so that if still people in there might be triggered by it, they can still um, like not read it. But um, then you can like share your story if you want to. If you want to talk about it, that's like the best place um, to do so. I love this build so much, Jesse. It looks so good. It is so pretty. I absolutely adore what you've done with the shell. You did such smart things with the roofing, kind of like creating this wraparound porch. It is so, so well made. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. I am obsessed with this. I think it look, looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for joining in. I am in love with it. You did such a great job. It looks so welcoming, so homey. I did not expect the color scheme inside, but you pulled it off perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna, can we do some, some applause in chat again? Um, but yeah, I'm going to take off your build and then I'm, I'm going to have to be completely honest with you guys. I have a little bit of a headache and I'm not feeling like the best right now. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm really, really tired. So I, I think I might end stream a bit early. Like I know I've been live for three hours already, so it's not like I've done a really short stream, but, um, we have like five tours left and obviously we still have the Friday so I think I'm just gonna leave those to Friday that is so doable in a stream um I had so much fun touring everyone's build but I really think I just need to rest a bit um like I like I mentioned at the beginning of stream I've been feeling a bit off the whole day so um I think I'm just quickly gonna find someone to raid and like take you to like a nice person that you can still continue to hang out on Twitch um so I'm just gonna see who all is live Ooh, I know, I know where we're gonna go. We're gonna go over to a friend I have not raided in the longest time. Um, because uh our like I we our streams usually end around the same time. But now that I kind of like end a little bit early, I get to take you there. Um so yeah, maybe we can get like the socials and the, the Discord command in chat and stuff and like all the raid things, and then I'm gonna set up the raid in the meantime. Um, because if you guys wanna follow me on any of my other socials, I'm very active on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, uh, Instagram, all the good places. And if you're coming with us for the raid, feel free to copy and paste one of the raid messages that was just posted in chat. Also, feel free to join our Discord. The link was just posted in chat. It is where we keep up with the community and hang out outside of stream hours. And you are super welcome to join us. Um, I can type. Let me do that. There we go. I'm going to start that raid. I will do all the pets, promise. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope that you have a great rest of your time zone wherever you are in the world. Um, I had a blast during these shells and I can't wait um, for Friday when I get to continue because I'm very, very excited. Thank you for also putting the link in chat. If you don't get taken with the raid automatically, feel free to click the link that was just posted in chat so you can still join in. And let's go send over some love to one of my amazing friends, Lil. You will love her if you don't know her already. And if you do know her, you know we're gonna go to a good place. Thank you for hanging out. I love every single one of you. And I will see you guys Friday for the rest of the shelters. <laughs>